Well, hello, everybody. You left no room for me in here, Kyle. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm glad you found me. Oh my goodness, there's a there's a hippo. Was that was that even called? Uh, not a leader. Uh, pal palindrome. What's the what's the cart? Oh my goodness, there's two of them. Uh, uh, oh my god, what are they called? Uh, oh, oh, uh, <laughs> the drive shoot. the driver has a name too. Rickshaw, Rickshaw, Rickshaw. There you go. Yeah, hey, that's it. That's it. Paloquin. I wonder why everyone's on hippos. I feel like there's a there's a reason for that. I don't know. Maybe we see I think hippos, hippos today. Hippos in our future. Yeah. I think we're getting mount spoilers right now, Kyle. We gotta we gotta <laughs> hand out some bans for mount how, spoilers. How, how, how could this happen? How could this? Happen? How dare you? How dare you spoil us with your mounts? Oh, oh, that's, that's not Garrett. Garrett. Here's Garrett. Garrett. Hi, Garrett. Hi, Garrett. What what happened? Oh, your 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 camera was wrong. No, my camera was wrong for you. It's my fault. Oh, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I mean, I'm already. Listen, dude. It, you know, putting yourself out there, streaming, making content. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot on your identity and and your ego. I, I didn't. I didn't. You know. I don't. I don't need more of an identity crisis. You, you, you were you ready, were ready for, that. for that. I was not ready. I was not ready. It's, it's lovely, lovely to see you all here today. today. Welcome, Welcome everybody. everybody. Kyle. Oh. Oh. Kyle. Big, Big Kyle. Kyle. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Let me make sure I'm on the right up input. I am. Because I have a way to cause that. Oh, but there we go. Is that better? Was We're it like bad? I don't know. Video capture device five. Huh. I think my camera might. I I redid my whole room last night, so I unplugged everything and replugged everything. So all my all my settings were off because it like detected that my computer had been re unplugged. So I was like, mixer's unplugged. I I'll just reset everything. But we're doing better Inter now. Interesting. Good. Good to know. We're doing much better. Ah, uh, Chris, celebrating their two months. Thank you for sticking with us and continuing to be a part of the Gearbox. Chris says, good afternoon from Orlando. How did you guys enjoy the Alliance raid so far? I loved it. And I'm going to speak for Kyle and say he loved it. We loved it. I did love it. Yeah, it was good. Really enjoying e Ivalice. E Evie. Evi. Yeah, I love that you just you just you just you just nope out and call it Evie. Just give up. But yeah, it's evil ice, evil ice. It was said once. I think it's evil ice. I think I need. I like to... saying evil ice, so I'm gonna say evil ice. All right, we're going back to threshold and make threshold? a gain. Yeah, I'm a little louder than you here. Oh, okay. I did adjust my volume because I noticed how because you said I was coming in a bit hot like a week ago. Yeah. And I, you know, I, so I went through a, a full reinstall of Windows, which nuked all of my audio settings. Um, but I, I think it's damn near where it was two weeks ago, like prior to my wipe. Uh, good. I, I, I sussed some things out. So yeah, I should, I, it makes sense that I'm a little quieter than last week. Uh, Terry. Thanks for spending two months with us in the gearbox. Hi, all GG's smooches. <laughs> you know, I, if you're going to sm I'll smooch, mwah, I'll smooch smooches, back. I guess, know? I guess yeah. our friendship's at that level. Yeah. Uh, Ripley celebrating two months two in months. the gearbox. Don't mind me stringing up scorpion peppers to dry while watching the stream. Ooh, that sounds intense. Ripley is a pepper enthusiast. Wow. Yeah. If we ain't Bathian smooching in two months, a, you know, we got, a, we got problems. <laughs> Bathian is apparently a bacon bread enthusiast because they just gave me some bacon bread. Oh, nice. Thank you for the bacon bread. Uh, yeah, well, yes, yeah, smooching it too much. Yeah, I can't think of any relationship I had that where we waited that long to smooch. Not that it's wrong, you know, you move at your yeah, own you, speed. Yeah, you move at your own pace. Maybe yeah. you were friends for years, you know, there's a lot of baggage there. You know, I'm happy for you. <laughs> but, you know, finally away. Finally, Sundere is over. Jim drinks coffee. Thank you for rejoining the gearbox. It's been so long. I think I actually have to think about this. I think Katie and I smooched on our first date. Um. Yeah, I got to think about that. I'm going to ask her tonight. Hey, do you remember? And she's going to be like, what's wrong with you? Why are you asking me this? Uh, Chris and I did a, a anime hangout where we watched Hell Sing. And mm. that was that was just a hangout. And she was actually the one who gave the first kiss. She was the, she was the engage. 
Oh, nice. Yeah, she went for it. Uh, you know, knowing you and knowing Kristen, that checks out. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't judging nobody. Just saying that uh, if you were playing those characters in a tabletop role-playing game, I would not accuse either of you of being out of character. It's on point. It's on yeah. point. Uh, Jim, well, congrats on your two months. Thanks for hanging with us. Says good luck today, bosses. Uh, we like, are you're uh, paying us. Technically, you're our boss. That's true. That's very true. You decide the future. Nicholas, thank you for the generous super chat. Oh, goodness. Yeah, thank you, Nicholas. If you meant to attach a uh, a note to that, please at Grinding Gear, and I'll, I'll try and keep an eye out for it. Um, otherwise, thank you for the, for the support. Really appreciate it. I don't remember if it was the remake of Helsing or the original at this point. Uh, both of which are okay and weird in their own ways. I have never watched the whole thing. I've just seen rando episodes. And I was like, that was cool. I should watch this. And then I get distracted by something else and I don't end up watching it. Oh, wow. Sin, thank you for the lovely decorations. A bomb cauldron. A carbuncle bathtub. Oh, these are awesome. Thank you, Sin. Okay. Oh, nice. So, oh, it's uh, a carbuncle bathtub. I just saw a bathtub and got excited. I didn't realize it was carbuncle. <laughs> <laughs> Jelani, thank you for the super chat. Chat says kiss. Oh, us? As their director. Totally, I have totally at least pecked you on the cheek. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We we are yeah. proud huggers. You know, <laughs> we do not. We are both. Yeah, we are both huggers. We do not get to meet up often in person. When we do, we embrace. Yeah, it's, it's a long hug. It's a long hug. Bert, welcome to the Gearbox. Thank you for signing up. Thank you for being a member. Jelani, thank you for Super Chat, says we're in charge. Chat says kiss already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> Hard to do. Hard to do uh, when we're... Uh, what are you, like roughly 3,000 miles away from me, I think? I have no idea. In the, as, in the ballpark? I used to be as distant as possible from you being up in Washington, but now I'm in Oregon, so it's a little closer. I'm a, anyway. Let me just do Portland, uh, just for rough estimation. I know you're not technically in Portland. Uh, I'm going to do directions because now I want to know. I'm going to punch in. Yeah, my yeah find out. Find out. Kyle, you are. Survey says. Now, this is, of course, roads, not as the crow flies. Hey, damn, I was close. 3,092 miles away. If I were to take the shortest route. Oh, wow. Well, not the shortest, but the quickest route. There's a slightly shorter route, but it adds on two hours because I'm assuming back roads. Oh man, uh, you'll you'll forgive me. I am a I'm a little dad tired today. Little man partied till midnight last night. Just was going, just loving life every minute of I it. L have I mentioned that I love that? That's the term you use to describe your your child being really rambunctious in the yeah. evening. Yeah, like partying. That's such a good way to describe it. He's a he's a like, bundle of joy. He loves life. I remember when my my little bro when he was. When he was tiny, man, I, uh, and of course I was still small, which meant zero patience. I was not happy. And I definitely <laughs> did not refer to it as partying. No. Well, you know, as the, were you, yeah, you were the elder sibling, right? Yeah. I think I was five yeah. or six when my brother was born. And okay. Yeah. I was pretty stoked. I remember being real stoked about having a little brother. Um, I, I was like super impatient. I really wanted to like hold him and stuff. So mom had to like teach me how to hold a baby and all that. Like I remember all this very vividly. Yeah, well, six um, is a pretty, you know, pretty old age. Not not ancient, but that's pretty old to have a younger sibling. You'd be into it, you know, you'd be aware. Yeah, yeah. But then, you know, they, they keep you up at night and you're mm. just like, I, I'm, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> 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 you know, I, uh, there was a... Was there, I was no angel. There were plenty of sibling fights. Yeah. Uh, broke a lamp one time. Got grounded for that one. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We would take my dad's yeah. tube socks and just wail on each other, me and my sister. Ooh, okay. It was it okay. was a good battle, you know. Eventually, we started settling our, our grievances in Super Smash Brothers. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, the trampoline was also a great place to settle grievances because if you push people <sighs> over, you would just, you know, <sighs> bounce back up. Never had a trampoline. Never had a trampoline. We would, we were big on the, like going in. We had, we had bikes, and we liked going in, into the into the woods with our bikes. Yeah. Oh, that's wholesome. Yeah. 
And tube very, yeah, sock fight. <laughs> People are the... excited about your tube sock fight. Oh, it was it was fun. They they got wild. You know, we never put anything in the tube sock, so it never became like injurious. But <laughs> you know, you get hit and then you go down. You pretend to be dead and like, or I I pretend to be dead because my sister is two and a half years younger than me and she'd like start weeping because she thought she actually killed me. You know, but then you know I'd hit her and she'd go running to mom and dad. So like you know, there was an exchange of emotional uh, discovery that we subjected each other to. Uh, and Bert, I'm glad you're enjoying the the sub. Keep on enjoying the game. Glad to see us enjoying it. Heart emoji right back at you. Yeah. We had pretty intense pillow fights, and I remember when like we'd have sleepovers. One of my buddies had one of those buckwheat pillows. Ooh. Are you aware of these? No. What? Are you aware of the? Yeah, they're filled with like buckwheat, and those things were a murder weapon. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. You did not want to get. Yeah. Yeah. You either had to hit him so hard you took him out. Uh, or you just avoided, you didn't make him mad because because when he started swinging with that buckwheat pillow, that thing sucked. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Jeff H, thank you for the super chat. I have this power and I'm going to throw money at you with it. That being said, how can you tell it's a dogwood tree? Kyle, how can you tell it's a dogwood tree? I, I, I saw it float by and, uh, well, you uh, might as well unleash it. You might as well unleash it. By the bark. Yeah. By the bark. Yeah. Listen, that's a pretty cool superpower. <laughs> Rosalind, thank you for the super chat. It says first ever super chat. Happy to give it to you guys. Wanted to draw tuna with a cocktail and Val trying to decide on fashion, but was too busy. Uh, yeah, Rosalind, the the wonderful artist of the fan art that we we put oh, up on yeah. stream during our Evilise uh, stream on Thursday, and it's delightful. Um, I love that that was your original like concept for the art. And then, boy, oh boy, howdy, do I understand? I this is what I this was my moonshot, but then I had things to do. So yeah. this is my realistic finished piece. Like, that was oh, great. I get that. I loved it. I get it happens with me with video editing a lot. Like, I'm like, I'm gonna. This is gonna be the best thing ever. And then on hour ten, I'm like, I just it, it, you need to get it out the door. We gotta finish this. Yeah. The okay. the thing that always gave me the greatest peace in the world was there was a Conan, the late night host, not the barbarian interview oh, uh, of the o'brien of the o'brien bread yes exactly yes exactly. yes Where the he only said, man i know taller than you well i don't know conan but yeah i don't know how tall he is i mean clearly he's he's tall he looks like a giant but he said he only likes two of his shows a year that he does and uh, that was like oh oh thank goodness because <laughs> he does a show every night and if he only likes two of them a year it's like well you got to make a product sometimes you got to put it out the door and you have to ship it i, I I think that's the same interview. I don't even remember where I heard it now, but I think that's the same interview where he talked about like working while sick. Mm. You, you, you just gotta, you just gotta get it out the door. Yeah, and you can't be precious about it. And you, you know, if you're unhappy with it, listen. There's always the next show. You can always take what you learned and apply it to the next thing you do. And that's that's how I feel about like what we make. And when people ask me for content creation advice, I always give them that piece, which is don't be too precious. Just hit post. Learn what you learned and apply it to the next thing you do. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. So I am excited to get to whatever the heck today is. Uh, what was the title of today's patch? It's Rise of a New Sun. Oh, thank God. It's not Rise of Skywalker. No, no. Wait, that was out. Wait, when did that come out? This was we're in 2017 right now. We were that was before right? Rise of Skywalker was 2019 it was right before COVID. Oh, I don't know the names of the the movies well enough. So Rise was the final uh, sequel trilogy film. Okay. They brought Abrams back, and it was just kind of a hot mess. Those okay. are fun set pieces. I like looking at it, but... See, I've, I've, got, uh, I've got my stuff now in range. I, I redid my office. I've got my stuff here. Oh, I've got, nice. Got my, got my sword. It's nice and, like, fuzzed nice. out in the background, so it looks real great. And now anytime we... Uh, I, I can show off my oh, VHS. Oh, hell yes! I can show off my... My fine, unspecial editioned uh, VHSs of which I'm I treasure. I'm so mad. My, my dad gave that shit to Goodwill a long time ago. In a galaxy not very far away. It's a city 30 minutes south. That's that's where it happened. It, there's, there's no good way, right? Like, I mean, I didn't expect my parents to hold on to all my connects. And I, even when I was younger, like, I didn't have no kids. I'm not, you know, and I turned 30. I'm like, oh, kids are cute. Uh, I wish I had all my connects. I want my connects back. I have a son. I'm like, ah, <laughs> where's my connects? Grand, he's uh, he's two and a half, so we're still a ways out from connects. But you know, I'm still like, no. 
my connects. Yeah. yeah. Now you know. Listen, my dad. He, I get it. There's a lot of clutter. You got to make. You, you got to make some calls, and for the most part, he kept stuff I wanted him to keep. Like I have a whole box of NES and Genesis cartridges and peripherals uh, that my dad decided he he wanted. He's like Garrett will probably want these, and I do. I do want those. You know, had, do I wish he kept my Star Wars action figures? Yeah, yeah, I do wish he had. But listen, there comes a point where you're living on the other side of the country for a few years, and your parents are like, "All right, it's time to get rid of some of this crap." Oh, dude, you—they got rid of your Star Wars toys too. All of my Star Wars toys are gone. I have what? the amount of times I've been on eBay and I've almost purchased like hundreds of dollars worth of Micro Machine Star Wars stuff because that was always my favorite. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, and Kyle's off. Oh, I think he's. I bet. I bet he's getting Star Wars action figures. I bet that's what's happening because right, he didn't give me a warning. Since, since we're on a stuff tour, I still have it in the box. I still got the Millennium Falcon box here that my Millennium Falcon's in. Oh my God, the, dude! That that wait. is a number one wish I had it toy from my childhood. Yeah, man. I need to put my some parents were, in this and to listen make noise again. My parents spoiled me rotten. I had some of the, I had some rockin' ass toys. They got me the Jurassic Park compound, which was oh, one damn. of my favorite toys. Um, like, they they got me awesome stuff. Uh, but the Falcon is a number one toy. I wish I had when I was a kid. That was that was it. I had Slave One. I never sure. got Slave One's Falcon. Cool. I, had, I had that and a Tie Fighter. That was it. But that the action figures could yeah. fit in. Yeah, I got really into the Micro Machines Action Fleet, which was like the they were smaller vehicles, but they had tiny little dudes that could fit in it. And I was obsessed oh. with them because they were way more proportionally accurate than the action figure size ships. Sure. Okay. Because yeah. I was that kind of weird kid. I was very into things being accurate. <laughs> Mike, well, that makes sense. Micro machines. Um, yeah. By the way, we're talking there. But, uh, Jelani Wood, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> <laughs> not liking Rise of Skywalker is toxic, Garrett. Listen, Jelani. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, if, if not liking Rise of Skywalker is toxic, consider call me toxic. <laughs> call me toxic. There's parts of that movie I like looking at. It is hardly a story. <laughs> it is just a bunch of random events <laughs> placed next to each other. Dino, uh, Dino think of the thank you for the Super chat. What the heck is an aluminum falcon? That is one of my favorite robot chicken bits. Oh, right. Oh, when he's on the he phone, He calls right? the emperor, yeah. and the emperor is like, how long have you been out there? God, you must smell like sweat and burnt hair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, he's crying, and he holds the phone against his chest. He's crying. <laughs> uh, good old robot chicken. Listen, big guy. Listen, big guy. Just just come on home. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, Quite a few of them went on to work for the Hot Wheels YouTube channel, which is... Uh, one of the most like wholesome, fabulous childhood YouTube channels I can I've experienced. I am very critical of product placement for children's things, but damn, damn if Hot Wheels isn't blowing it out of the water, man. Holy hell, Hot Wheels YouTube is so good and way better than Coco Melon or any madness like that. Mm. Coco Melon is I absolute trash. I think it's easier to get on board with Hot Wheels too because the product they sell is extremely accessible from a price point standpoint. That is true. Like, yeah, that, that is, is true. It's a, like that is it's such an affordable toy, um, and it's like I don't know. I I never really got into them. My brother was really into them, and then I started to like them. Um, so I have very fond memories of Hot Wheels. Jeff H, thank you for Super Jet. Oh God, Seltzer is coming up for a vengeance. <clears throat> Who's old enough to remember Starcom with the magnetic spaceships? Uh, not me. I don't know what that is. Oh man. <laughs> uh, if you look them up, you'll you'll probably recognize them. This. Uh. Uh. I think my older cousin had some of this. Stuff. Yeah. I have no idea what this is. I I vaguely recognize these toys. I was really into Dino Riders, which was probably because I was born in 87. So I was a little late for. So this was 1986. But Dino Riders, the real Ghostbusters. I was too young for He-Man. I passed the He-Man craze. Uh, Batman. Batman was really big. Yeah. 
Power uh, Rangers and Ninja, Ninja Turtles was like my first Ninja Turtles. Life, yeah. Ninja Turtles. Um, then Power Rangers, Star Wars, all kind of hit at the same time. Batman. Because we were you and I. Because we were you're, a, you're we're both eighty seven babies. So the first yeah. Batman was like we were probably too young to be watching that shit, but I was watching it. Oh, dude, it, it was dark as hell. Like the Joker. I mean, they've straight up done interviews about the Batman animated series where they're like. We just kept doing it. I don't know how we got away with it. They said don't kill anybody, but Joker's laugh stuff was way more disturbing. We just kept going. No one stopped us. Yeah, yeah. I I, I like Transformers, even though that was a little. I was a little late for that, but I, I watched a lot of Transformers reruns. I I also didn't get into He Man. I watched a little bit of GI Joe. Um, yeah. As far as '80s cartoons, Transformers was probably my favorite. Um, but yeah, I was all about the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, that Ninja was, Turtles, the badass. Was that was my jam. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I love our I love our start of stream. You know, I, I agree. Rambles, this is man. A, this is a good chance for me to wake up. Um, <laughs> we gotta let people file <laughs> in. Light Weaver. What are you laughing at? Light Weaver flying around with their radiant panties on display. Radiant panties? Because the, the ball is glowing in the cast shadow on their back thighs. <laughs> you know, I'm getting out of this box. It was lovely seeing y'all. It was great seeing you all. This is a great little uh, little temple thing we found. Let's let's get to questing. All right, let's quest. Oh, that's good. That's good. <clears throat> I watched uh, my first wrestling pay per view this weekend. Oh, those are fun. I mean, did you have a good and crowd I, for it? Like, did you hang out? No, it was, it was just me and Katie. Katie's oh. gotten into AEW because she was she grew up as a big WCW fan, and there's a bunch of WCW talent in AEW right now. Um, hmm. And so she was like, Garrett, I, I really want to watch a pay-per-view this weekend. Would you be into sure. that? And I'm like, hell yeah, let's do it. And it was great. It was freaking great. I haven't watched wrestling in a really long time. I had a, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I didn't realize we were this close to the quest, so I'm going to stop my wrestling aside now and click on lease. Yes, yes, let's do that. Otherwise, uh, someone was prompting me about Digimon. I could talk about Digimon for a while. So Ooh. it's, it's oh, time bet, to get I going. I bet you could. I love Digimon. Digital monsters. Digimon are the champions. Did you know? Yeah, I always thought they were Pokemon ripoffs. Never got into it. Uh, kind of, yeah. Mon <laughs> Monster Rancher, to me anyway, was the true ripoff of both of them, where we were like really getting into uh, the C list. Mm, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Lee says. Tuna Val, great timing. I was just about to send word to the Scions. I've got I really lots like to I tell like Monster you. Monster Rancher too. The council has officially recognized the resistance as our standing army. And I expect you can guess who's been appointed commander. Suffice it to say, we're in good hand. <laughs> That's terrible. Do you get it, Kyle? Singular hand. Cause the oh, commander only yeah, has yeah, okay. one hand. Okay. Okay. I get it. I was too I'm sorry, I'm still in I'm still thinking about uh the mystery dis and take them to the shrine. Monster Rancher, I was transported to a faraway land in a world where monsters rule. I've never heard of that show. It was not good. You had cable, I think, so you had better mm. things to do with your time. I, I, did, I did indeed have cable, yeah. All right, I'm good, I'm good, let's go. Having the Bull of Alamigo at the helms done wonders for morale. People were dancing in the streets when the announcement was made, and we have you and the Sultana to thank for it. If you two hadn't worked your magic, he'd never have contemplated following his heart. The council has decreed that we're to maintain a presence at Ralgar's Reach. Lise will continue to lead our forces in the fringes, a job she's been doing tirelessly. A bit too tirelessly, some might say. We're constantly having to remind her to rest before she falls over. It's a, a running theme with the Scions, is to be reminded to rest. That's an exaggeration, and I always get up again. Anyway, we can hardly <laughs> afford to lower our guard now. Not after our lightest brush with Lakshmi. Speaking of which, we've been keeping a close eye on the Kalyana, and it looks like they've chosen a new leader. It's um, Shanti's daughter, you know, the half-dead one. For whatever reason, the Kalyana thought she was the best candidate, which makes them leaderless, basically. As things stand, there's no prospect of engaging in talks, let alone coming to an understanding. But I won't let that stop me. I'll keep on reaching out until they finally see sense. 
Just like I've been reaching out to Fordola, she still won't meet my gaze, but she's given up trying to ignore me. It may only be the odd grunt, but at least she's responding. I'll get through to her yet. Tuna, Val, there you are. <laughs> all Garrett characters all the time. Oh, yeah. Hey, well, hold hey, on. Oh, uh, hold on. Hold on. Here. Alphano, Alice, is everything all right? We Get received there, word from Tataru. Hancock has apparently acquired information of greatest interest and urgency. More than that, she didn't say, only that we should come to Kugane right away. I had a mind for the two of us to set forth together, but Alice determined it might make it a party of three. Or to make it a party of three. As I've told you more than a dozen times, brother, my wounds are quite healed and I would benefit from some fresh air. Besides, we may need an extra pair of hands. We're not, sister. I have quite given up trying to convince you. Whether we be two or three, or four, with that tall man with glasses in the back there, we should depart as soon as possible. You will be joining us, I trust. I was about to say I'd come too, but I'll just have to settle for cheering you on from afar. Good luck with whatever it turns out to be. Thank you, Lise. Rest assured, should this business prove to be of even tangential concern to El Amigo, we shall inform you without delay. Let us be off then. Hancock and Tataru will wait us at the Ruby Bazaar offices. Oh no, it's Cock. Yep, Hancock. No less. The man himself. He has been delightfully brief the last many times we have met with him. I think I'm going to start, I'm going to stop uh, yelling every time his name is uttered. Our Wojo, thank you for the super chat. Here's some pain for you guys. Oh, what you, what's going on? I didn't ask to be domed today. Uh, my ex-wife threw out my fully complete first edition base set and non-first edition set of po Pokemon cards when we divorced. Oh, that is wow. cruel. First edition. Oh my goodness. Dear God. That ain't that ain't right. That ain't right. My deepest condolences. Is Poke like Pokemon's still big. I know that Target huge. There's like yeah. a sign at Target about how they don't sell them anymore because things were getting crazy. Oh yeah, there were people uh, uh robbing people as they left Target. Uh you should Google it by the way. It was happening during COVID. It it's, it got really bad. Yeah, there Weird. was there was straight up assaults. Like people were assaulted and for Pokemon and cards. Yep, there was a massive shortage during COVID. Huh. Um. Cool. Funny uh, uh, to mention. I keep saying this. I recently got my binder from my parents' house, and I've been wanting to go through it because there's a ton of OG Pokemon cards in there, including a bunch of Japanese cards from before there was even a single expansion in the states. Hmm. So one of these one of these nights, Kyle, we should fire up a rando stream and we'll just go through my binder and and yell. Yeah, we'll do. We'll put our, put our cameras, point them at our hands, and uh, I'll get out my Pokemon cards. You get out yours. We'll get out the old the old Magic cards. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't have old Magic cards. I just have uh, uh like seven year old Magic cards. Uh, shall we go to Kugane? Yes, I saw. A oh, site okay. Point. Oh wait, we're not in a party. Yeah, let's be in a party. <laughs> let's see if this is this even like doable. This looks miserable. <clears throat> Teleporting to Kugani now. Oh, Baggins, shoot. thank you for the super chat. Did you all ever do the Kugani tower jumping puzzle? I spent about one and a half hours yesterday and got so close, but still have to make those last two jumps. No, no, we haven't. I, I don't I don't know. That's going to be... We're going to have to be seriously bribed to go do it, or I don't know, 50,000, <laughs> 100,000 sub celebration yeah. to even attempt it. Yeah, we'll do it as a celebration. We'll do it as a membership celebration at some point. Here, here's the thing, because it, it's. We'll it, I feel it. like we're not going to get in on the first stream, and I feel like if we start at Kyle, uh, we're going to lose roughly 75% of our audience. So we're, we're going to need to make up for that loss of, of eyeballs. Uh, where'd you go? Where are we going? Did I play going... Digimon Survive? No, I I had a Digimon, you know, the little tiny key fob sort of thing, but I never had... I've never played a Digimon game because I didn't own a PlayStation, which may have mean I missed out on the early ones, so I never got invested early on. Mm. 
I didn't have a PlayStation until two. I assume East Aldenard Trading Company Aid uh, is just going to let us in. Oh, it's voice acted. Oh, cool. I'll see you in there. Cool. In the meantime, I'm going to turn off Capture Cursor, which is on for some freaking reason. Properties. Where, where is that? Oh, here we go. Sorry, I've recently switched over to just plain old My OBS. Friends, and I'm still thank you for coming at such short notice. Are you ready, Kyle? Must he's... <laughs> Bless you. All right, I'm here. I'm ready. On your, are you? Uh, all right, three, two, one, go. We were told the matter was urgent. I take it Yuguri and Sorobin are also involved. Ah, my presence here is but a happy coincidence. I am come on separate business, which can wait. My apologies. Master Hancock, pray tell our friends exactly what you told me. Of course, of course. Some few days ago, a large detachment of soldiers was seen arriving at the Garlean Embassy. This seemed to me most unusual, as no personages of note are due to visit for a matter of months. So, I made a few inquiries, whereupon I learned of a most curious rumor. Mm. Apparently, the soldiers were dispatched to Kugani to investigate recent sightings of a certain individual. Are we going to finally uh, meet back up with the late Gosetsu? acting Imperial Viceroy of Doma, Yotsuyu? Oh, yeah, I was close. Shocked. I beg your pardon? Oh, that was so dramatic. I, love it. <laughs> I too am loath to believe it. I saw the keep come down on top of her. We all did. Gosetsu just flexed over yep. her and they all survived. He held the roof up the whole time. I would not presume to question your eyewitness accounts, nor am I one to take rumors at face value. The fact is, the Garleans have no knowledge of what took place at Dorma Castle. They may well be chasing after a woman who merely resembles Yotsuyu. But a woman who resembles Yotsuyu in the company of a grizzled Rogadan samurai? I dare say that thickens the plot. Gosetsu! He's alive! I just While I've no conclusive proof, I thought that such a possibility would be even start looking for them. Exactly. I'm not listening to Hancock anymore. Talk about it. I'm like, all right. Have you informed Lord Hien? Well, I think we'd all like to believe the old bear survived. Indeed. While I dare not give myself wholly to hope, I will not deny that I have prayed for such a miracle ever since that fateful day. But regardless of my personal feelings, if the Empire has seen fit to pursue these rumors so vigorously, we can scarce afford to ignore them. I am bound by duty to ascertain the truth of the matter. Will you join me in this quest? I thought you'd never ask. Uh, yeah, I'm oh. going for Gosetsu. Yeah, yeah, I'm more happy about Gosetsu alive than... Yeah. Thank okay. you. Shall we 3-2-1 it? If I'll see you at lives, capture. He will need our help if he is to avoid capture. I was feeling so agreeable, I clicked the button, so... I, I, I don't think we're going to see anything insane here. I'm going to just let it ride. Okay, just let it ride, let it ride. It seems like this is table setting. Yeah. Watch it all immediately cut to an awesome cut. Kosetsu is a dear friend, and we cannot abandon him to the mercy of the Empire. Our course is clear. Alpha no. Hancock, is there aught else you can tell us? Alas, not. But 
I have taken the liberty of employing one of the finest informants money can buy. You shall have the latest intelligence on the Garleans' movements and more besides. You're such a freaking creep. Did he get something? Oh, nice. Yeah, smile. Did he get something out of 4.0? Out of what? What do you mean? Like, why would Define Hancock... something. Well, why would Hancock be spending money on us? Did we actually succeed in doing something good for him over the course of Stormblood? I know we met him and that we... I guess we got rid of the Garleans, but he... There's an embassy in Kugane, which you figured they would bring in money. So why is he into us? Well, wasn't it in the best interest of the East Eldenard Trading Company that we be successful? Because there was this... I mean, recently it was the Saltory. They were super stoked about that. But going back before the Saltory, I just assumed it was a vague trading thing. Like, it sucks trading with the Garleans. So yeah, let's, let's get them out of there. I guess they haven't mentioned, I don't think they've mentioned that Lord Hian opened up trade or something like that. The Empire was blocking trade. Oh, okay, so when the one, um, <laughs> when the one Garlean showed up in the dinghy was like, hey, you can't go across the Ruby Sea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because that's, that, that was the whole thing. Like when we originally met Hancock, which I'm surprised I even remember him mentioning Little Rito, but I do because he's like buddy buddy with them. No, well, it's kind of a big deal anytime old Lolo's brought up. Well, he's a big, yeah, he's a big string puller. I like Lolo Rito. He's a delightful D-bag, uh, but he's he's like very well written and, and I like those types of characters. Like I loved, I wanted more with the bank in Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, the bank I was I thought the bank dudes were really interesting and I wish we spent more time with them. Was that wow? What was the bank? What was that area? It was where Arya went to go train, and it was, her, that that story was super boring. But I wanted more time with the bank. Yeah, the face stuff, the faceless assassins was cool. Uh, I, that's around where I long. stopped reading the books. Bravos, it, thank you. Bravos, yeah. Bravos. With the burr, 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 and the unfolding stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I I stopped reading around that point because they just kept introducing new characters. Like when the sand snakes came in, I kind of dropped the books I was reading, but. The bank was oh, a, cool. I, I haven't read. I haven't read. I've only read the first book, but it's funny because I've heard the sand snakes in the book are great and they were terrible in the show. It's more that I cared so greatly about other characters that to suddenly be introduced to others. I was like, oh, this is this is getting too complex. Plus, we hadn't checked in on. Um, Tyrion, right? Tyrion, the son, Tyrion, yeah. Lannister. Yeah. yeah, in a long while there. The Bravos bank felt like it was the quest you made up for the character because you weren't sure what to do with them. In the books, though, the like House of Warlocks is badass. I love that whole that whole arc. And in general, like, the whole Daenerys uh, early book stuff is really, really good. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, quite a few uh, super chats. In the meantime, uh, Jelani, thank you for the super chat, said, my mom sold my comic book collection behind my back because she was mad when I dropped out of art school. Huge 70s through the 90s collection, about 20 long boxes. Oh, my Wow. Lord. You got some collectible trauma yeah. uh, in our chat room. I'm sorry. Well, I, I guess the internet didn't exist, right? And like, and so the parents didn't really know the value of things or I'm not really sure. Mm. Now I feel like I have to unknown keep character, uh, Unknown character says, so Kugani jumping puzzle on a drinking stream? We'll I set mean, a that, goal. We'll set a goal. That could, that could make my my anger more amusing probably <laughs> uh, super side swiper think of a super chat Lola Rita wants to lessen our hostility to him yeah okay I get that vibe I get yeah. that vibe Ryan N thank you for the super chat I've always figured Hancock was someone who likes to maintain positive relationships as a resource to tap if needed in the future this is a, not a terrible way to play the game that's fair I do wonder how Tataru's character is gonna grow after spending so much time by Hancock because what I hope happens is Hancock is like the surrogate Tataru the one that's like running Stormblood because Tataru was an outsider in Kugane but when we go to wherever we're going next Tataru's like listen up cheese bags I'm in charge now everyone sit the hell down because I've been hanging out with Hancock for uh, two years and I'm gonna throw down. It's big money time. 
Well, let's see if it goes that way. Hancock says, The informant awaits your pleasure in the back streets of Sanjo Hanamachi. I don't want anyone waiting my pleasure in a back street. Uh, from its shining facade to its dark underbelly, few know Kugani as intimately as he. One of the finest informants money can buy. Why do I have the? Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Uh, sorry, Bon. We were doing Surfer Bro. Uh, yeah, we were doing Surfer, Surfer Bro. Permitting to assist you in your quest, my friends. The sooner your business is concluded, the sooner we may speak of mine. Should you search? Uh, should your search take you away from Kugani? My boat is at your disposal. I shall see that she is ready to sail. Oh, where is my Tataru? There it is. <laughs> I'll give Sorban a hand. If he's providing, if he's providing us a ship, the least we can do is supply the provisions. We'll be at the pier if you need us. A welcome offer and an excellent plan. Without further ado, then, let us seek out this informant in Sanjo Hanamachi. Are you sure you don't want to ask Hancock to talk some more, Alpha now? Time for action. And talking to people. So much talking. <laughs> All right. Nice job on the exit. <laughs> Everyone's really excited about Serena's sweet moves. Can I move while doing this? Yeah, it kind of works. <laughs> it kind of works. Oh, God. I love you. I love you trying to figure things out. By the way, I, I hope it wasn't too much extra of a pain in the ass for you, Kyle, but I love being able to see your video today. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, it, uh, we're let's see. trying Sanjo. out some extra layers here so Garrett can see my face during the stream, not just the stream itself. Or Kaza District, let's go! To the district! Oh, cool! Things are actually gonna happen back here. Because when we first got in town, I was excited to see the Red Light District, but nothing ever really went down here. Mm. <clears throat> Gang's all here. Straight into a cutscene. Alice says... This should be the place. Now we wait and see who comes. Well, that makes me think it's someone we know. It's been a while, my friend. That was a long one. Camera's low. Wait, she's <laughs> okay. Yes! Ah, I knew it. <laughs> Yojo, any funny business, and you know what will happen, I trust. No, no, no funny business. Our loyal service and finest quality information. Of, of course, such quality does not come cheap. No, but then Hancock already paid you. Honestly, you must think we're born yesterday. I have half a mind to call lease. No, no, no lease. I beg you, no boots. I will tell you everything I know free of charge. The Empire searches for Yatsuyu, high and low, far and wide. Come to enlist my help, they did, promising rich rewards for decisive information. And have you decisive information? Were the two individuals cited here indeed Gosetsu and Yatsuyu? Alas, see them with my own eyes, I did not. But the Imperials are confident, yes, yes, very confident indeed. Look at the size of their contingent! Here is something they do not know. A rumor which you will find most interesting, I think. They say an elderly Rogadin samurai appeared on Kogani Dori with a beauteous maiden and sold his katana to a pawnbroker. It was no common katana either, but one of sur uh, surpassing craftsmanship. Damn. Well, that is interesting, assuming it's true. Did you corroborate the rumor with the pawnbroker in question? Uh, uh, no. Regrettably, I do not have a working relationship with the master of Shafuku Shichaitan. Now, why would that be, I wonder? If I didn't know any better, I think he'd lent you money. 
can. <laughs> will help you. I am certain. While you speak with him, I will make contact with my Garlean connections and learn what I can of their progress. A glimpse of the blade is all I need to be sure, but it is wise to let the Namazu out of our sight. No, he'll betray us. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Oh no, no more betrayals, no more boots. To divide our forces is simply more efficient. He's right, given the urgency, we would do well to split up. And so I will go with our friend here. Nothing, impro nothing improves efficiency like a little supervision. Ooh, but er, uh, yes. Yes, yes! We will go together, and there will be no boots! Let's be about it, then. Good luck with the katana. Shall we reconvene at the pier later on? Fragrant as the Ruby Bazaar offices are, I prefer the fresh air. I believe Alice has a task well in hand. Shall we see out the, uh, seek out the pawnbroker? Greetings. Hmm. We just got the greetings email. Weird. Duncan McLeod is celebrating their two months of uh, being a member of Grinding Gear by saying there's an entire Beast Tribe quest line of those floppy idiots if you're interested. <laughs> I am. I am interested. One of these, one of these days when we want to do a, a, a vibe stream, maybe. Oh, man, this is, this moving little hand in sounds like a <laughs> their movement sounds like a fresh pair of blood sneakers, says Luke Garrow. <laughs> it's very SpongeBob in my ears. Mm, yeah, the squeaky. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. squeaky shoes. Yeah. All right, Alphano continues. Everything in order, then let us proceed to Kogani Dori and find the master of Shofuku Shit. Chitin? How do I pronounce that? Does anyone know? Chi Chai Ten. Yeah, you're doing it right. Chi Chai Ten. Okay. In my book. I'm sure we'll get three different pronunciations at least. I mean, there might be tiny tsus and stuff that wouldn't be expressed in the English. Um, mm. Chi is it? Chi Chi Ten. Chi. Yeah, yeah. More of the. Okay, chi. That, that seems that seems to be that seems to be a, eyes or ease agreed upon. Chi Chi Ten. And no C's. Uh, okay, where are we heading? We're going to Kugani Dori, which is still here. Okay. We could have... I'm using this this crystal back. Okay. Yeah. To this go to Kugani Dori Markets. Oh, these astrologian quests are giant. Da, da, I need to do them. Da, 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 da. All right. <clears throat> got to shake down these pawnbrokers. We might have had customers like you describe. So many people come through, it's difficult to remember. Perhaps you could jog my memory by making a purchase? No? Well, you can't blame a woman for trying. <laughs> this doesn't seem to be the pawnbroker you seek. Thank you, nameless narrator. <laughs> you know what game had a really good narrator? Divinity 2. That was an excellent narrator. Yes. Yes, it did. Rogan and Sarah Mariah and a maiden never seen them. Now, if you don't have any business with me, make way for someone who does. This doesn't seem to be the pawnbroker you seek. Hmm. Still keeps Pleasant the symbol pawnbroker. up. Sorry, what? Oh, it still keeps the symbol up. Well, that mm. explains why. Welcome, good sir. Welcome. Will you be buying or? Ah, so you have heard the tell of a Rugen and Samurai's a katana. Small wonder, it is a fine example of its kind. One moment. That would explain why Gotsetsu was so angry when she was eating treats, because he sold his katana in order to afford said treats, and she was spending the money unwisely. However, what really bothers me about the situation with Yatsuyu right now is it's a very... Um, Uh, who who is the firebender in Avatar: Last Airbender? I'm forgetting his Which, name. Uh, Zuko. The Zuko. It's a very the, the Zuko best situation. character. Right. So right now she's <laughs> she's a good person because all she has is Gotsetsu in her life. The second she's presented with any options outside of that, then she's gonna like truly mind break and it's gonna be horrible. There's 
It's gonna be messed up. All I'm sensing right now is this is gonna well, that get would be, really messed up. That would be more like Azula. Well, Azula, yeah, she was more like the fool go insane. I'm talking about when uh, Zuko was like finding peace when he was hanging out there in like the crystal uh, cave with Katara or he was starting to calm down when he was hanging with his friends. But then when presented with a choice by his father, he became like full-blown evil again for a time. Hmm. Well, you know, he had to he had to go through that trial to become a better person. Yeah, well, it's it's about the people you surround yourself by. Zuko is one of my favorite fictional characters. Yeah, he's like, fabulous. Full he's... stop. He's so good. He's so, I'm gonna freaking what? I have so much shit to watch. I'm working through Demon Slayer right now. Uh, all right, let's see here. Alphano says, "Dare I hope you found our pawnbroker." <clears throat> Excellent work, Tunin Val. And that is the katana. Hope y'all ready to hear Kyle whisper. There can be no doubt. It is Gotsetsu's blade. The craftsmanship is exquisite, is it not? And you will be pleased to know that the pledge has just expired. I should be glad to sell it to you, assuming you have the coin. This is no ordinary weapon, you understand. It is priced accordingly, but you are serious. I suggest you act quickly, as several noted collectors have already expressed an interest. Hmm. The blade represents conclusive proof of Gotsetsu's survival. I suppose this could be considered a necessary cost in securing his safe return. It is not a decision I can make alone, least of all when our nation has scarce begun to rebuild. I would pay. I mean, unless I actually have to pay, in which case I'm probably using guild funds because I'm not a rich man and I would feel bad. <laughs> so far, this I'm game hasn't gonna... made you pay. I'm just going to volunteer to pay. Okay. Nay, my friend, grateful though I am of your offer, I cannot ask this of you. It is enough to know that Gutsetsu is alive and well. Oh, thank God. I didn't want to sign up grinding gear for buying a katana. You geary wait. The Scions will buy the katana. Pray, consider it a gift. Ma Master Athano, your kindness is touching truly. Yet, in matters of coin, wouldn't... Would Mr. Shitaro not expect to be consulted? Come now, our friend would never have relinquished his blade were the need not great. And are we not bound by honor to keep... Uh, to help a friend in need. I say we are, and I am sure Tataru will wholeheartedly agree. Then it's settled then. You have made a wise choice, my friend. Such pieces are few and far between. Now, if you be so good as it comes this way, I shall prepare the necessary papers. Congratulations. For the next 15 minutes, the Samurai Katana bundle is 800% off. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. If I may ask, sir, after he visited your establishment, do you perchance know where the old samurai went? He is our friend, and we would return this weapon to him. A friend of yours, you say? I see. Well, then, I suppose there's no harm in telling you. No sooner had I provided him with the requested sum that his pretty young companion began clamoring for a dango. I truly recommended those served at the you mean Nico Tea House and the Thridier? The th and the, the, the what? The Thridier? Did they said I like the Thither? Thither? The th thither? Oh, Thither. Oh, that's Thither. I have never heard Thither in my life. Why can't I say that? Oh, Thither is like kind of Shakespearean y. I've just never really seen it written. I've seen Hither. I've never seen Thither. Thither and Yawn. Hmm. All right. Clamoring for Dongo? Can these truly be the same people? It makes no sense. It's a manner of cod, perhaps. But it... Code. Never mind. Excuse me. Fish. Um, <laughs> but it avails us not to speculate. Let us go to this tea house and see if we can pick up their trail. <laughs> you know, 
I've got fish on the brain. I'm gonna buy my cat uh, fish treats tonight. I was thinking about that. Mm. And he doesn't like salmon. I, I always buy salmon because I feel like I prefer it, but he does not. He prefers white fish. Mm. I'm very excited. He's been a very good boy. Uh, looks like Aetherite Plaza is nice and close. What? How does one... Hmm. <laughs> Cheap cat. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, whitefish is... Uh, He's a is simple affordable. cat. Hey, man, I like catfish, and that's nice and affordable. But of course I remember. How could I forget a pair like that? The most beautiful girl you'd ever seen. Scoff down, a, a scar, scoffing down Dango as if her life depended on it. While an old samurai looked on, not quite what he expected, I'd wager. Far be it from me to gossip about my customers, but he was planning to spirit her away across the Ruby Sea, out of the reach of her family, no doubt. When the girl had finally had her fill, they set off in the direction of the Shiokaze holstery, presumably to find someone discreet with a boat. So, Kotsetsu made for Doma. But this woman who travels with him, the more I hear about her, the more I wonder if she can truly be Yotsuyu. And then we steal her tea set. Uh, by the way, we had uh, two super chats during that. Super side swiper, they were super chat. He didn't go full on evil. He didn't go over to the good because he wanted his father's love. Yeah, right? Like, oof. It's such a good telling of that particular story with Uncle Iroh being the one who really loved him. Man, Avatar is a great show. But I, I'm expecting that's exactly what's happening here. Like, she's going to want the Emperor's or her old faction's approval. And it's going to warp her mind even after spending so much time alongside Gutsetsu and becoming or a Or the person. approval of an Asian that might be using the face of someone she wanted the approval of. That would be interesting. I did wonder about that glove that we saw, if that was an Asian glove, because he's in kind of white and gold. And the glove was kind of, I don't know, I've never really looked at his hands much whenever he shows up. Mm. Yeah, I was always looking at his amazing guy lighter. Yeah. Wait, guy liner? No, 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 wait, what, who? No, we haven't seen his face. Um, um, what's his face? Xenos. No, 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 the other guy. The, the, the dude that we think is wearing the face of Xenos, or at least I've... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I, th I thought you were saying that he didn't have Xenos hands. I'm forgetting the, uh, I'm forgetting the, uh, Asian's name. What's the Asian's name? Elitibus. Elitibus, Elitibus. Was that Elitibus' hand? It, ah, ah, see, I was, was going the other way. I thought it was Elitibus. I thought, I thought you were talking about Xenos' hand because we have a a pet theory at the moment that he might look like Xenos. Yes. A little bit. And so Carto? So Carto. Thank you for the super chat. Alpha no plus company expense card equals disaster. I think Tatar is going to be pissed. I'm sure she will be, but I agree with Alpha no on this one. It's not like it's not like Alpha no just bought like uh, eight rounds of drinks for the whole bar or something. No, this is this is a, a uh, an heirloom we are keeping in the family. Did Jatara even meet? Godson? I guess she did. Yeah, he showed up there in the yeah he came to the waking well not the waking sands rising stones yeah yeah. Yep. Uh, While which I don't. makes me I just want to say rise and rock now when I wake up. Rise and rock? Because rising stones. Get oh. It? Because it was Waking Sands, I assume it's an illusion Rise, to Waking Sands. Yeah, 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 no, Waking Sands, Rising Rock. Now we have the uh, Raising, Waking. Yeah, but then we just, like, hung out in the Four Toms Manor for That's a while. That's right, yeah. We did. Which was interesting, though we did go to Waking Sands and then uh, the Rising Stones and lose the Rising Stones there for a time. A Realm Reborn patch content was massive. It was thick. Well, we lost technically. I mean, we lost it until a, a major portion of the way into Heaven's Ward. Yeah, because that's why we were camping out in the Fort Tom Manor. Right, because we had nowhere to be at all. Yeah, and Scions yeah. were fugitives of the law because we were wanted for the murder of the princess. I am above the law. I'm going to engage Yugiri. I have already engaged. While doubt remains over the identity of Yukosetsu's traveling companion, 
For now, we can but follow her trail. Come, let us away to the pier and make ready to sail. With luck, Alizé will have already joined Master Soroban and Mr. Sataru there. To the pier! Out to the pier! Here's good old Sorabon. Oh yeah, everyone's here. Hang on, I want to see what Tatara's talking about. Because she looks like she's schooled in Alpha now. Oh no, she's just talking about the mission and stuff. Okay. Excellent timing, my friends. Mistress Elise arrived mere moments ago. Zooming in on him. Here we go. All went well on my end. Kyoto met with an Imperial officer and wheeled his way to some new information. It seems the troops who recently arrived in Kugane came directly from Garlemald. The Imperials based here have been kept in the dark. And that's not all. A contingent of the aforementioned troops are preparing for deployment at the Ruby Sea. If I didn't know any better, if I didn't know better, I'd say they picked up Gotsetsu's trail. Then your information matches ours. We are quite certain that Gosetsu seeks to cross to the mainland. He'll probably just row there with his bare hands. Possibly. The phrase up shit's creek without a paddle does not apply to Gosetsu. He's just gonna lay down like in SpongeBob and she'll just ride his back. Mm. Like David Hasselhoff. Ah, uh, excuse me. Um, I'm sorry, did I hear that right? You use Scion funds to buy Gotsetsu's katana at the asking price? <laughs> Aye, well, we were in some haste and it seemed a worthwhile gesture. Speaking of which, here is the contract of sale. Pray see that the man is paid. Dolls. Oh. Beard. You agreed to this? Give me strength. <laughs> well, it's not like the search can wait. You'd best be on your way. But Alphano, <laughs> we need to talk. I want you to come straight to the offices as soon as you get back. Promise me. Oh, very well. I shall call upon you as soon as I return. Oh, yeah, I'm this dude. <laughs> First, let us go to the Ruby Price. If Gosetsu has already set sail, the sentries there are sure to have seen him. She only I starts waving after Alphano walks by. <clears throat> He's pissed. <laughs> oh, looks oh, like this we're looking duty. like a duty. If you yeah. wanna, if you wanna drop, if you wanna drop party. Yeah, let's go and drop. Tatara seems rather vexed, did she not? Ever the melodramatist. I am sure our finances can stretch to a single sword. Remind <laughs> me to explain the value of such gestures when we next see her. Ah, but I digress. We have work to do. Oh, Alizé's here saying, what is the going rate for a priceless weapon, I wonder? And I, and now I know who to not ask. Ah, they're <laughs> ripping on him. Uh, Dino, thank you for the super chat. Rich boy doesn't understand money. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm backing up Alfie on this one. That was a nice gesture. I mean, he did go to like super college is my understanding where he drew girls or something. I'm a little confused on what Alphano's childhood was like, but clearly he had a rather good one given his grandpa, we don't even know his parents or anything. We don't know much it's a about loaf him. Of, it's a loaf of bread, Michael. What could it cost? $50? Wait, what's that from? Arrested Development. Oh, man, that's old. Lucille Bluth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I think I messed it up. I don't remember the exact quote. No, you took it. I, I, I it, That's a distant memory. Here's some money. Go watch a Star Wars.
You entered without a countdown, didn't you? Oh, I did. I, you're right. I absolutely did. I was just eager to catch up. Looks like there's going to be some talkie biz, though, so I'll see you in there. Well, three, two, one, get get to where Kyle is. That's where I'm going. Right. I suggest we begin by learning what we can from the I'm sentries. I'm going to make an emote just to shame you when you go ahead of me. That's go what for I'm it. Do. Absolutely. We got the emote slots mm -hmm. to spare. I'm going to make a little, like, shame bell that just has your face on it. I like it. Like Kyle shame. We should also get a Garrett shame. No, mine will say toxic. That's what it will say. There we go. Yeah, exactly. We'll bell. both have our own shame. We have a shame bell. Yeah. Uh, are you on sentries? I am sentry ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I didn't know where we were for a hot second, but we're at that castle thing in the Ruby Sea. Oh, that thing that we swam all the way out to? And yeah. We were like, what's out here? And it was nothing. <laughs> I think there was an ether current. Yeah, the ether current here was miserable. What's going on out there? A little better after the swimming speed. Travelers, are you? You may wish to postpone your plans. This guy looks the like Guardians Kyle drew have him. launched an attack on the Confederacy. Looks <laughs> like I drew him? I feel like if we you were a no teenager, to this their is their a character here. you would draw. But for your own safety, I suggest you return to Kugane. Do they know who we are? Like Don't talk ninety to me about percent my of the, safety. Ninety percent of the Ruby Sea is voiced by Van Crit. Oh damn, we got Max Kyle. Oh, that's a, that's a handsome Mac. Thanks for the super chat, Star Johnson. We are here to save the day, like that. The Garleans bear no love hair. for the Confederacy, but with Doma lost to them, why would they attack? Unless, unless Yotsugu is on that island. Well, I think you're going to get an answer to uh, Yatsu's Even if she isn't, our turn allies are no under attack and they need Kyle. our help. We will help them while you remain with Soroban. Arguing will only delay us. Is that clear? Fine, but you haven't heard the last of this. Soroban, we may need to make a swift exit. See that the boat is ready to sail at a moment's notice. Alpha, no, your sister is a better it fighter. It shall be done. He's ready, though. He's going to throw down. What, and you're going to swim there, are you? <laughs> He's not blessed with swimming. Tis the quickest way, and you may rest assured I've been practicing. <laughs> that was a that was a callback. They talked about how he couldn't swim. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Come. I've seen more graceful entrances while wearing flippers. Oh my god, dude, my jump looks so hilarious because I'm wearing the, the samurai skirt and it's just thighs. It's just pasty white thighs. Nice. I look forward to seeing in your recording. An opening your defense is lacking. Leave this to me. That was cute. I'm really excited to see if we can keep getting more stuff like that because uh, when we were doing our raid last Thursday, some of the camera shots in the story portions on the Garlean theater ship were really advanced compared to things we've seen so far. Yeah, it was, I mean, it's just it's just getting more visually impressive as we go which you know we, we were told would happen um, but i don't know I, I i i feel like stuff i've seen recently has been a, a bigger leap than when they when we left ps3 right yeah absolutely it's just been some really nicely executed visual touches uh, in a lot of the stuff that we've been we've been seeing recently Overkill on this guy. All right, I'm done with the first group. Where are you at? I am heading to the final guy who doesn't have much. All right, up the stairs, I assume, everybody? 
Yeah, they'll lead you. I just cool. ran up the stairs and I'm being greeted with a new cutscene. Hey, the pirates are doing something. <laughs> they kind of did. Oh, wait, no, they showed up in the final battle at Kudan. Uh, Doma Castle. Doma yeah, Castle. yeah. I mean, but everybody did, and Hien was cooler. <laughs> What sword is Gosetsu fighting with? Lady Yotsuyu, we're here to rescue you. Please, come with us. Oh, no. Stay back, Tsuyu. <coughs> <coughs> well, he did get shot. <gasps> Are you all right? Yeah. Is he all right? Gosetsu. Damn it, we took too long. Change of plan, eliminate hostiles. Things are happening. All forces, Kyle. attack! I love a good AOE raffle stuff. I know, you're probably leagues ahead of me. There's one dude and a mech left alive. This guy has a butt ton of health. Take the mech out first. Oh wait, no, there's some buckle in the distance. So paranoid. Mm, There's someone sense. dying in the back somewhere. Oh shoot! There's a DPS burn on the boss or the the mech is trying to self detonate. Oh, this is gonna be a photo finish. I didn't catch it until late. I might do this. Oh, we survived. Okay. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Kyle. Not that important. Damn. How could you? I made it to the oh. point where you were talking. Oh, are you self detonating? Yeah, it seems like, um, oh, uh, yeah, I can, can I interrupt that with like a stun or something? Oh, no. but I tried. Oh, it wasn't that bad. It went off and it wasn't that bad. But then a tank showed up. A tank? Yeah. I don't. I never saw a tank. Oh, you're further ahead of me. The tank is later. So you went through three mechs? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you were struggling with the first mech. Okay. Uh, you know, struggle's a strong Str word. Struggle is, is a very uh, aggressive word. I apologize. <laughs> 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 it was not my intention to suggest you struggle. Such insult was not my intention.
The art of my forebears. Oh, that's true. Oh, there's even more. There's even more buttholes. Yeah. Just keep coming. Oh wow! Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of buttholes. Yeah, I've got I count three. How many you got? Blue is good, I assume. And now we've got more mechs. Wonderful. That's what I wanted. That's a lot of mechs. Thirty seconds to Star Storm. Oh. <laughs> that looks like uh, something we want to stand in. Yeah, that's where I'm. That's where I'm at. That's what I'm considering. Judge too hastily. Go down. I'm done with you. He was talking that good shit to Alice, and I'm like, dude, Alice is a bigger badass than you are. But maybe I was wrong. Yeah, he, he did practice. He was off doing something during all of Storm Blood. How, how did he? You know, how did he practice swimming and being a bit more badass fighter at the same time? Well, What's swimming's a very good <laughs> recreational activity. It's good for body. It's good for cardiovascular health. Alright, I'm disabling auto advance so we can sync up. Yeah. I will see you at heavens. Unless you're already there because you're such a badass. No, no, I'm making my way there. I'm currently staring at Gosetsu. Yes, I won. <laughs> Gosetsu, thank the heavens. After being told I was struggling, that feels good. Those AoE sections you really make up your time in. I'm mm. at Heavens. You're at Heavens. Wonderful. Let me turn back on clip recording. Uh, ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> Yugiri, my friends, the Kami were kind to guide your steps this way. It's over. The Imperials are retreating. I suppose we have you to thank for that. Yeah. But they would never have come here were it not for her. I had a bad feeling the moment your samurai friend arrived with that woman in tow. It's fair that they hate the heck out of her. She was a... Do not be afraid, Suyu. In these, these people are my friends. Uh, yes. Friends. I have another side game I would like to play through. Oh, did she get hit on the head? Is she like all, you know... Forgive me, but myself. at the risk of souring the mood, I, I believe I you owe us an explanation. You may start by telling us what happened at Doma Castle. Of course. I'll not begrudge you that. As you know, we were trapped inside the keep when it collapsed. But even as the roof crumbled above us, so too did the floor below. We were swept out into the one river, where we would surely have drowned had a stout wooden door not chanced to float by, offering us a raft of sorts. Exhausted, we drifted out to sea at the mercy of the tides, which saw fit to dispense us on a desert island. She was with you the entire time. Aye. T'was her kimono which saved her from Hian's blade, believe it or not. Some Galian witchcraft in the weave. But it offered precious little protection against the fall. Though she survived, she awoke bereft of all her memories, and speaking like a child. A trick, surely. That was my first thought, I. And I contemplated cutting her down and being done with it. Contemplated it long and hard. Yet the Kami saw fit to deliver us from certain death. T'was their will that we survive, both of us, 
together. And together, we shall go before our master. He shall be the one to judge. Judge what? She's your prisoner, old man. Do with her as you will. Call her Tsuyu, or whatever else tickles your fancy. Twas a name given out of necessity whilst on the road. Nothing more. As you say. But remember this. Our people suffered much at that woman's hands. When the time comes, I trust you won't let emotion blind you to what needs to be done. You have my word. Well, I must be going. I have an unholy mess to clean up. You should be on your way too, before the Imperials decide to take another tilt. Oh, and we'll overlook the tithe this once. You're welcome. Thanks. Oh, eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Your bitch ass coming no. in here and talking shit to Gosetsu. It, it honestly was a good touch, though, because <laughs> I kind of would have forgotten that she was heavily involved in the Ruby Sea at this point and what she had done to the local populi and the various pirates in the employ of the tithe and whatnot. However, I will not take this laying down, chat. There were two robots, two robots. And as you know, surely as pro Final Fantasy XIV players, you do not do AOEs unless there are more than two targets. Therefore, I did not forget my AOEs. You have forgotten yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> or you didn't gather properly because there were a lot of robots at one point. I can't get threat on them. They're all attacking different things. I don't have oh, enmity. Oh, well, yeah, if another place where enmity. being a dark knight comes in handy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, Kyle, clearly you were just not DPSing hard enough. Agreed. Everybody here, everybody here did, you know, did it better. <laughs> Shall we engage Alpha now? I was going to thank some super chats. Oh, very There well. were many during, during that long, that long outing. Cuddly Zombie, thank you. Fun fact, they use the Hildebrand quest line to practice and experiment with new animation and camera techniques. Ah. Hmm. Sorcarto, thank you. After the stream, you should uh, do well to look up Alphano Belly Flop Supercut on Twitter for other languages. They're a hoot. Yes, please. What? What? Uh, a supercut of all of his belly flops in the various localized languages. That's awesome. Is there a TikTok of this? And if there isn't, I'm going to make one. <laughs> That'd be um, free content, free clicks. <clears throat> Yep, yep. Super side swiper thing of the super chat tip. Check Hildebrad to see how far they've pushed limits of their technical work. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Jonathan Harrison, uh, a long cast bar like that is called an enrage in high end content. It does more damage than you could survive and puts a hard time limit on the fight. Well, there you go. It seems like uh, in that particular duty, it was basically don't let more than a certain amount of the AOEs go, go off. I thought it was like one AOE and we were going to be done. So that's why I was freaking out at robot number two. Same, that very first one, I thought we were doomed and I didn't, I didn't catch it in time. It went off and I was okay. And then the two came out and it did not seem like there was any universe. I was going to be able to burn them both down in time. And then there were three and then there was the whole big group. And that's when there was the, um, Essentially, the limit break, you could drag them in. So, that's what I did. Perfect. Sam, I've seen the... I saw your post. Thank you for sharing the video with us of the oh, many belly flops. The belly flop supercut. Hell yeah. Alphano says, As Tansui says, we should move on, and it would not do for Yatsuyu to be seen here. A little late for that. Now, if I know my sister, she will already be waiting with the boat at the nearby pier. Let's go and see if I'm right. Or let's just stand here awkwardly for a little bit. There we go. So it's not really a Zuko situation. It's the amnesia sort of play, which I have no problem with amnesia. I know a lot of people think it can be something that's kind of overdone, but really outside of like daytime soap operas, it's rarely used in stories. I don't, I don't love it on uh, kind of on principle, but it, uh, it in this case, it, like I, I'm, I'm filing this away into. Okay, so she's a time bomb. 
Yeah, Like, exactly. how long until she remembers? Yeah, and then, uh, I was just, yeah. Time bombs in this world are very dangerous because they summon primals and crap like that. So I'm not, I'm not very big on letting anyone time bomb around, much like the brood mother. Uh, you know, wasn't too keen on letting her go either. So it seems like a really bad idea in general. What'd you think yeah. of uh, Amnesia in The Witcher? Because that was a pretty big plot point of The Witcher 3. Uh, you're talking to me like I beat The Witcher 3. Oh, but in general, he showed, you know, he doesn't have his memories from before the Wild Hunt showed up and all that sort of business. Did you dislike Geralt's amnesia? I do not remember that at all. Hmm. So I can't speak to it. But no, I did, if I had, typically I really don't like amnesia. I think it's super played out and uh, a little bit of a cheat. But that's my, like, that's one of my points is when did it get played out? Like, why? Was it like our childhood cartoons? Because I have the same opinion. In my head, I'm like, man, amnesia is so cheap. But why are, do we feel that way? What property did amnesia that we all got fed up with so quickly? I feel like it's just been done the same. Like, it's even like comes down to a bonk on the head, man. Like, it's like even the cause of amnesia is usually the same. Born identity was amnesia. Um. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That might have not helped considering I literally can't tell the difference between any of those movies. I'm not sure why they made multiple ones. They were all the same storyline. Oh, KOTOR had amnesia. That's true. Yeah. Did you really like P well, there they did a cool spin on it though, right? Like, yeah. Cause you were force wiped. You were removed of your memories. Well, and like you were the character that couldn't remember your past, which was a good foil for a game with multiple paths to head down based on your choices. Right? Yeah, I like uh, what Raphael says. Amnesia barely happens, and it only happens in bad shows most of the time. So what we see is a use of it in bad products. That's a good way to put it. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, listen, if there's one thing I've learned about Final Fantasy XIV, it's uh, wait until it pays off, and then yeah. I'll judge. <laughs> um, where are you? I'm right here. I'm, I'm hanging out by Alizé and Alphano. Oh, shite. We're not in a party. Oh, no, yeah, that would make sense. Watch it, it'll be time for another, it'll be back to back duties and we're doing this for no reason whatsoever. All right, Alice a says. <clears throat> Oof. Okay. Gotsetsu, thank the gods you're safe. It was all I could do to watch the battle from afar. Oh, all right. And it was all I could do to restrain her. Can you blame me for worrying? Strong as Val and Tuna are, anything could have happened in the chaos. But enough about me. We need to talk about her. Um, Who's doing Atsuyu? I, Is that you? Was it me? I, I don't. I don't think we ever saw her in a non-voice acted scene, did we? I don't think Xenos it's... ever had an unvoice acted scene in all the 4.0. She might be right. Well, I'm Alize right now, and I think I'm gonna be arguing with you. So, you want to take Atsuyu? All right, let's uh, back. It. Uh, um, greetings. Almost massage this as we go through. They tell me you've lost your memory, and that's fine. But I want you to know something. I won't be taking my eyes off you, not for a moment. These people are strange. Are you sure they're your friends? And now you're talking to yourself. <laughs> I am. They may behave strangely, but I trust them with my life. You have not to fear. All right, if you say so. Dot, dot, dot. R right, tis past time we set sail. I, for one, would not keep Lord Hien waiting without due cause. Yes, Lord Hien, such a stickler. I and the longer we tarry, the more we risk inviting trouble. Lest you forget, the Red Kojin bear no love for Yatsuyu either. I shall deliver you to familiar shores near Asari. 
but out of the villager's sight. I thought that said familiar shoes. Caught myself at the last second. We have successfully joined LSA. Where am I? Oh, okay. <laughs> like a senile person. <laughs> where, where am I? Where am I? I just kept walking and it kept working. Heroes where you part ways, my friends. I pray the remainder of your journey passes uneventfully. Tuna, Val, when you are not otherwise preoccupied, I would speak with you about my next business venture. I was thinking water taxis. It promises to be extremely lucrative, and I do not say so lightly. After the pro prodigious sum spent acquiring a certain sword, it would present a fine opportunity to refill the Scion's coffers and restore the smile to Mistress Tataru's face. Soraban crushing on Tataru. Wait, doesn't Tataru already have a crush? Yeah. Does she? Yeah, uh, uh, my, 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 Wedge. Wedge crushes on Tataru all the time. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. All right, Alvin says, oh, come along. Tataru was overreacting. How much could a single katana possibly cost? A triangle <laughs> it's, straight up, it's straight up the rest of the development joke. Alice says, far more than you think, plainly. A blade like Otetsu's is worth a fortune enough to buy a house and furnish it, which you would would know had you bothered to check the price. What? what? I, I had no idea. The, this business venture of Soraban's, you will give it a fair hearing, I trust. He has been good to us, after all. As for me, I... I think I shall look into drawing upon my personal funds. <laughs> uh, I love this kind of stuff. Little, little Ooh, I moments. hope we get to do a bank. Like a bank dungeon? That'd be badass. Ooh, okay, okay. So, Bon, what do you- He dropped like 200 mil. Hmm. What are they talking about? What is Dango? I know it's the colorful that... balls on a stick, but I don't know what's inside. Dango food. Because it could be like ice cream. It could be octopus. Dango, Dango is a Japanese dumpling made from rice flour mixed with urichi rice flour and glutinous rice flour. It is different from the method of making mochi, or mochi, which is made after steaming glutinous rice. Dango is usually finished, round shape. Three to five Dango are often served on a skewer. Oh, so the different colors are the rice flavorings you're sort of rolling them in. Mm. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Oh, is this Four Lords right here with Soroban? Is that what he's going to be giving us? Everyone's in the four chat talking about uh, Four Lords, which is basically oh, our... Oh, is that what this is? Okay. It's our uh, warring triad for this expansion. I'm going to grab my calendar here. I, I can tell everybody... Warring Quartet, Kyle. Well, yes, but this one's called Four Lords. Yeah. Also, Lee Love uh, sent a very generous super chat while we were doing that. No message. Um, Lee Love, if you meant to include one, by all means, uh, send one now. Give us well, a little grinding you. gear at. I'll try and keep an eye out for it. Let me just get the but calendar otherwise... here. I can let you all know when we're going to do uh, Four Lords. So this week is going to be this on week, right? Thursday. We're doing Omega Sigma Scape. So we're returning ah. to Omega. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. And then the Jade Stoa will be July 6th. Hmm. That'll be sweet. I'm looking forward to that. I love the Warring Triad. Cool, 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 cool. Right. You, Giri. We must meet with Lord Hien as soon as possible. Though mishap may not... Wait, through? What? Mayhap. They have, oh, not at the Enclave. Uh, I will send word requesting that he receives us at the House of the Fierce, where there are fewer prying eyes. If all are in agreement, I shall scout ahead and see that the way is clear. Pray, follow as swiftly as you are able, and join me on the outskirts of Namai. I just noticed your sunglasses. You are absurd. Well, it's night. The majority of the time we play, so maybe I shouldn't wear sunglasses. But. <laughs> I 
love the scion suit top. I think it's a beautiful piece and it looks so good with all the different dye colors. It looks like it's faster if we just phase through here. Because it's not, uh, where we're going is not near a crystal. It's a lot closer to this entrance right here. Ah, oh, Kyle, I'm so glad we streamed on Wednesday. It's so nice to fly. It is nice. I'm glad we got that done. I can show you the world. What? Oh, that's, a, that's the first cut, to watch the cutscene. All is well? Good. The others are hiding nearby. Let us proceed quietly, if you please. <laughs> Oh, last time Gosetsu was here, it was the wonderful drinking scene. That was a great scene. I loved it. Right up there with the Heaven's Word campfire. Are you ready? My lord here. I am returned. Save your tears for the morrow. Kyle? Oh, sorry. I dude, I get into it, man. Path, not I love he and, and Gosetsu and they're talking. I'll see you at destination. Are you Hien, ready now? Yen might be my favorite character. Like, that in, does not surprise me in at a non-funny way. Like, I love Nero. I love Gotsetsu. They give me a lot of joy. But Yen is just so my kind of guy. Ooh, ooh. ooh are, the, are you are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Amaric and Yen, but I think I might like Yen better because he's free of politics he's more of a leader when the hour arrives the first thing we shall welcome what comes with open arms and welcome it you did even as the keep fell down around us at that moment in your smile i spied a shred of hope one which i have clung to ever since Gosetsu, full glad am I to see you alive and well. We have played this scene before, have we not? Though this time our roles are reversed. That they are. Meaning you know how I feel. Wholly at a loss for words. Welcome back, old friend. Now then, though we rejoice at your return, it seems you have brought with you certain complications. Rise, my friend. Tell me everything. The Empire is bold indeed to send a token force to engage the Confederacy. As acting Viceroy, Yotsuyu would have been privy to Imperial secrets. The Galleons will not soon give up the chase. Nay, it will end with her capture or her death. Are you a friend too? Creepy. She claims to have lost her memory, though I know not if she speaks true. I brought her here that you might decide her fate. Lost her memory, you say? Regardless, the people have not forgotten. Her face yet haunts their dreams. She cannot roam free. We will hold her here for a time. Place her in Jufia's care, with the express instruction that she is not to be seen. Yes, my lord. Come. No, I don't want to! Don't let her take me away!
It's all right, Soyu. I will come with you. Be a good girl and listen to Yugiri. It works well. Because Gotsetsu has so much dad energy and he ends his own person now. He's all grown up. So Gotsetsu has projected From a onto. hound at his throat to a puppy at his heel. Yeah, it makes you feel it for uh, Yatsuyu as well, right? If like yeah. he's yeah. to have it a proper a parental figure in her life. As opposed to the worst mother of the year. <laughs> Given those uh, those flashback sequences, the feeling we'll be reading this ourselves. <laughs> Judging by the laughter, yes. I mean, if you'd like, I can make sure. Um, here we go. Since we are in the house of the fears, I gotta make sure we uh, really, really play, play the part. <laughs> hey, thank you <laughs> for delivering good sets. No. no, no. <laughs> It is funny that they were like, come, let us go somewhere more secret. And then we walk in, we're like, hey, has anyone seen Yotsuyu recently? <laughs> Thank you for delivering Gotsetsu back to us in one piece. We are lucky indeed to have you have friends who would journey to the other side of the world to help us. And repeatedly at that. We have much and more to think upon, but as regard, regards the empire, we can but watch and wait. Now then, seeing as you've come all this way, you must allow me to show you around the Enclave. I would not have you thinking we've been idle in your absence. The rebuilding effort proceeds apace, I am pleased to say, and we, now, and we are now ready to welcome home our countrymen who were displaced by the war, should they desire it. Should they so desire it, there is a place here for those who fled to Eorzea. We should be delighted to accept your invitation, Lord Hien, and I have no doubt that your subjects at Revenant's Toll will be heartened to hear that their lord has not forgotten them. I'm just sitting here like, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> hmm? Oh, it's nothing. I just thought that Gotsetsu and Yugiri would be back by now. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, yeah, give me a bit of a scare there. Forgive me, my lord, but Captain, how did they say this? Ji Fuya is nowhere to be found. Oh, he was here when I arrived. For now, we have taken Yatsuyu to a private chamber and assigned another to watch over her, my lord. But I find it passing strange that the captain should leave his post with nary a word. That does seem most unusual. If you mean to look for the man, we would be happy to assist you. We should be glad of the help. While I search without, mayhaps you could ask our soldiers here if they know anything. I will join you. With respect, my lord, you should remain here. Should the Empire move against us, you will be better able to coordinate our response. Ha! Ah. Well, there I was thinking I was in charge, but you have the right of it. Go on, then. I will mind the house. So if we're in 4.2... It's been six months in real world time since the end of 4.0. Oh, uh, I, I, I haven't looked up dates. Just patch I, dates. I, I, I appreciate you keeping tabs of the, on these things, but I'm just like, oh, I don't know, I'm just playing through. I always find it interesting because they si seem to adhere to a very consistent release schedule. One for, for content, which is just fabulous, but two, because they sort of advance time based on how long the patches have been out, which is interesting. A lot of, a lot of folks in chat seem to be agreeing on seven months. Okay, about seven. With three and a half months uh, in between patches. 
All right, Haname says, uh, you seek the captain, he passed by a little while ago. I um, wondered if I should tell someone as it happens. He did not look well, you see. I asked if aught was the matter and he told me the past had caught up with him, but I doubt it was that. There are older men in our ranks. Do we know this captain? I don't remember the name at the moment. I do not remember this character. I mean, granted, we met a lot of people in Stormblood. We were well socialized. Jonathan Harrison, thank you for the super chat. This plotline is a good contrast to Fordola's. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's an, an interesting, interesting thought. Point. Yeah. And really, I hadn't thought of that, that parallel, but you are not wrong because it's another person who has wronged our friends. And it's it, it, it's about like the fallout of war, right? Like once you have a prisoner of war, it's like, how do you how do you treat them when they've committed war crimes? Well, and Fordola is such a cool case on expanding the war story and the emotions of it now that she is against her will experiencing constant psychic connections in a sense with everyone around her like that is such a cool burden for a bad guy to end up with yeah I'm um, over at the next person cool oh my god there's a guard named Subaru <laughs> I'm super amused by that Captain Jifuya, he was heading for the northern entrance when I saw him last. I was going to invite him to train with us, but he did not hear me call out to him. If you need him, I dare say the sentry on duty will be able to tell you more. Indeed, I suggest you as much to Mistress Alize when she came asking earlier. Is something amiss? And there's Alize and the front sentry. Aye, the captain went missing some few bells ago and looking quite unwell, I'm sorry to say. This I mentioned to Lord Gosetsu, who straightway struck out after him. I hope they will be all right. Gosetsu too? It seems everyone is bent on joining the search. That's all well and good, but someone has to stay behind. There's no telling what the Empire is plotting. You go on, Val, Tuna. Alf and I, Alfano and I shall hold the fort. It's a good question, Liminal Space. Not sure. Uh, cannot confirm if uh, Subaru is the STI trim or not. STI trim? That's a high performance uh, version of the Impreza. Why is it called trim? Uh, any car would be a trim level. So, like <sighs> a Mustang uh, GT would be a level. Like, oh, trim levels of cars. Like you go buy a Honda. There's like touring. There's you know, do you want cloth interior, leather interior, uh, nicer wheels, that kind of stuff. Those are usually assigned to trim levels. Oh. Hmm. Other times it's like the engine, which with STI, you would get the high performance engine. Oh, he's cowering behind a wall. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's having a good day. Uh, Let's see what this nope. Your Lord, Ian, cut scene is about. Leave me. Leave me, I beg of you. Say nothing of this. I, I, oh, I was never here. Idea. I wasn't expecting it to be. No, me neither. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. There you are. Lady Yugiri, Lord Gusetsu, forgive me uh, my abrupt disappearance. You have your reasons, I am sure. Will you not share them? I was... I was her master when she was yet a courtesan. Oh, damn. By the kami. <laughs> the appropriate response there, good sense. She <laughs> worked in my establishment. Her father was a regular client of mine. One day, quite without preamble, he offered to sell her to me. Yeah, she may be no maiden, he said, but she has some use left in her. Christ alive. Seriously. He sold her short. When I first beheld her, 
I was struck by her beauty. And yet, behind her eyes there was an emptiness. It was as if she had given up on life. She seemed more a doll than a woman. It was no profession for her. But I knew she would be popular. And so it proved. Men flocked to drown themselves in that cold, bottomless gaze. And this just got real dark. Yeah. The rest you know. She became an Imperial informant and for her loyal service won the office of acting Viceroy. Well, you came to serve the Liberation Front. It is said that the atrocities Yotsuyu committed were driven by vengeance. If so, I bear part of the blame for creating the monster she became. That is extremely self-aware. Joining mm. the front was meant to be my atonement. But the truth is... The truth is, I am a coward, whose only thought was to escape her wrath. Then as now. I see. Then I shall recommend that you be assigned to a new post. I trust you have no objections, you giddy. None. It would not do to leave Yotsuyu in his care. I am in your debt. Who is it that you seek to protect, Gozetsu? Idle musings. Pray, pay me no mind. Damn, dude. Yeah, that's heavy. Yeah, I'm uh, glad it was voice acted. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, I that. See, I, I see why, because that's like, that is a bomb drop. Yeah. Um, it's like we already knew her backstory was horrible, that she had a terrible upbringing, but it's like, Hey, yeah, by the way, it's it, it's worse than you know. Man, the resistance being made of all kinds of peoples fighting for different reasons. Liberation as well as redemption. Yeah. It's interesting, too, that, like, Gosetsu and Yugiri didn't rape the man over the coals. They're just like, well, we got shit to do. You seem like you're already torn up over this. We're just going to reassign you and move on. Yeah. Adds an interesting layer, too, to her amnesia, which... Helps break it out of that stereotypical zone of just we're gonna use this and everyone please forget about it, it has no impact on the emotions around it. Yeah, Lee Love, thank you for the uh, multiple super chats during that. Uh, and then your most recent one says, Let's try this yet again. Ha, I get to see you live for a change. It's like all my name days have come at once. All my name days have come at once. <laughs> just don't play the song, don't play the song. Oh, thank you, Lee <laughs> please Love. don't play the song. Yeah, don't please. Although I mean, yeah, yeah it's, it's interesting. But yeah, Lee Love, thank you for the uh, for the super chats. Thank you for the support. And uh, in the future, if you do a super chat and you mean to leave a message and uh, you, you, you you forget, just just add us yeah. with what you wanted your message to be. We'll uh, try and catch it. But really appreciate the support. Glad to have you here live. Uh, yeah, I like the mul multiple folks in chat right now are pointing out still T for teen, by the way. Yeah, that is true. I would not have been uh, mature enough to understand. I don't think I would have been mature enough in my teen years to grip we're, the dark sadness of this. We're in 4.0, which would put if we were if we were to put this back in time and say it came out when World of Warcraft came out. This was 2017. 4.0 would have been uh, yeah. a cataclysm. So I would have recently gotten out of college. Uh, no, this is way after cataclysm. Oh, no, but I'm saying if we were to place this expansion at the place where World of Warcraft comes out, just as a thought experiment of my own mental maturity at the time. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think I would have been fine by then. Yeah. I think in high school, I would have been like, ha, 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 prostitute, and like just a jackass. I was a jackass in high school. Konagami, thank you for the super chat. This storyline could be considered a continuation of Gosetsu's experience with the 
Dothari tribe in the Azim Steppe. Well, that's an interesting thought. That was the ones who believed in reincarnation, in a sense. Yeah. Oh, that's a good. That's a cool read. Uh, yeah. Because what is what yeah. is what is Yetsuyu experiencing right now if it's not a rebirth? Right. And he was walking around that place being like, "This is stupid. <laughs> Everyone's dumb but me. <laughs> I mean, you live a good life, and I say I have the rest. Everyone's born unique and." Well, they got through to him yeah. with the with the death of a warrior, and you know he he started to respect it when he realized how much it came down to res you know respecting warriors and, and fallen. I love know, fighters. I love that scene where he sits down in the sand, yeah, as Elstwild brings up just popping a squat and a drink next to a dead guy, being like, "Well, no one's gonna celebrate you but me." So here we are. Yeah, no, he's such a good kid. I really, really like Osetsu. Um, I, I, not like, I'm glad I don't have to choose, but I think I like Osetsu a little bit more than he and he falls into like a character archetype I really like. Um, I love the, I love the old soldier. Like old soldier is a real, that's an archetype I really enjoy. Yeah. And Osetsu is a very good one of those. He's, he's, he's pretty damn fleshed out. It's such a good song. Crank it. Crank that daytime yeah. theme. All right, real Here. Uncle Iro energy. Absolutely. Forgive me. Now is not the time for brooding. Come, let us rejoin the others. And off she goes. Oh. <laughs> Actually, cat I'm not really sure how to get back in there. I think you fly around this way. I could just teleport, but now I'm determined to remember where the hole is. Bert writes, okay, so from now on, the whole MSQ is led by Natsuko Ishikawa, aka the dorky archangel, aka the best script writer I know. That's the Shadowbringers writer who did the Death Knight questline, right? Or Dark Death Knight? Knight? Dark Knight, yes. Dark Knight, yes. Yes. Ishikawa gets name dropped a lot. Yeah. Oh, we can just we can just fly down into the house. Yeah, of the I didn't think there was now. a hole in the ceiling, but there it is. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Also, did the rogue quest line in a realm were born? Oh yeah, did you really just make a trouble finding the whole joke, slander? Really? I commend you on your immaturity. <laughs> 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 you made me giggle. All right, he end says. I was just checking with everybody else. We're good. I thank you for your help in the search. Kotsetsu has told me all that transpired. I would not presume to defend the life of Jifuya led before he joined the front, nor will I com commend it. Frankly, it is not my place to judge. I will only say this. The Jifuya I know has ever been a man of courage. That he should felt driven to flee bespeaks the depth of his terror. Even now, Yotsuyu casts a shadow over this realm. But the question of what is to be done with her remains. Wait. The question of what is to be done with her must wait. The Empire is on the move once more. Have some money. I will. Thank you for the pro tip there. K17KO. I will. Sock in Yansha 2019 on the YouTube. I will do that. And uh, I will be right back, Garrett, if you don't mind. Oh, wonderful. I will use the powers to embiggen you. The chat is yours. Hello, chat. Welcome to the Garrett Minute. While Kyle wanders away for reasons unbeknownst to me, maybe to let a cat out, say hi, or maybe he just needs to take a poo. How you doing? What's on your mind? What's on your mind? Embiggen. Oh, any questions? Doma or Alamiga Doma? That is a that is a no contest for me. Doma has some cool bits, but it is uh or sorry, uh, Alamigo has some cool bits, but Doma is a it is a no contest. Uh have I watched Full Metal Alchemist? I have. I have uh later than you might think. I was in my late 20s when I finally watched it. So I watched Brotherhood. I've only seen Brotherhood. Uh and I love it. I didn't for some reason it, it didn't seem all that interesting to me as when I was a teenager. Um, big mistake because I ended up loving it, but uh, hey, I've seen it now and I really enjoy it. 
Here's a chance not to be toxic. Thanks, Jelani. <laughs> Let's see. Have you played Nier? I have not played Nier. No, I can't can't say I have. Doma or Ishgard? Mmm. Mmm. I think Ishgard, but that's a close one. They're real close for me. But I think I go with Ishgard's so unique from things I've I've seen in games. Like I feel like I've seen you know, a Japanese aesthetic adjacent stuff. I haven't played a lot of From Soft games and I realize that Ishgard has that has that vibe, but I haven't personally played a lot of it, so I go with Ishgard. Uh, why does Gareth, the largest of the gear symbol, not eat the others? <laughs> Kyle's taller than me, just FYI. How's the glam game going for your classes, Garrett? Uh, good. I haven't really been paying too much attention to the glam for my other jobs. Ooh, ooh, shite. But my other highest level job is Gunbreaker, which uses the same glams as my, my Dark Knight, so. Yeah, kind of is. What would it take to get Scott Johnson to play Final Fantasy XIV? I know he has played Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I don't know if he's, I, I don't think he's currently playing. He hasn't mentioned it in a long time and he and I still still keep in touch. We talk a decent amount about, you know, what we're playing and stuff. And he hasn't mentioned Final Fantasy XIV in a bit, so I, I don't know. And I haven't heard him mentioning it on the core in a while. So yeah, favorite thing in Final Fantasy XIV so far? That's a big question, Pothy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, mm, that's a hard one. That's a conversation I'd want to have with Kyle. I don't have a gut reaction. Just Heaven's Ward in general so far just impressed the, the hell out of me. So probably like, what would that have been? 3.3? Like the end of Heaven's Ward was really, really good. Uh, what do we got here? <laughs> I talked about near. Would you let Yatsuyu step on you? Uh, no. No, that seems like it would hurt and go too far and be beyond my personal comfort level. Bert says, between Star Wars and WoW, which one of the two disappointed you the most? Uh, definitely World of Warcraft. Um, uh, really, really, really just hated what they did with Sylvanas, and she was one of my favorite characters. And it really kind of ruined my interest in the story of that game. So I'd, I'd go with that. I'm back. I'd go with that. Welcome back. Well, ruined what? Uh, I was asked uh, between Star Wars and WoW, which one disappointed me the most? Oh. <laughs> and I said WoW, because Sylvanas is one of my favorite characters of all time, and I hated mm. what they did with her so much that they made me not care about WoW's story anymore. Arthas became a fart. David's got it. Yeah, Arthas became a fart. Yep. Cool. You could have done anything interesting with that. And... You just had people stand around and gawk at a glowing blue orb. So cool. Like at that point, just don't, just don't even show him. Just don't even show him. I oh, mean, you got some cool questions here. I don't know what you've answered so far. I'm up to the Star Wars wow question. Okay. So anything past that, I haven't answered. Oh, I see. If you want to, if you want to chill for a minute, we can answer some of these. If you could make a Final Fantasy style ride attraction for Disneyland, what would it be like? Uh, it would be called Active Time Maneuver. <laughs> and uh, we would ride on the back of whatever boss that was from Alexander. Yeah, yeah, no, that'd be a good one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it would be Alexander, the 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 4D experience. I would, I, you know what, I'm, I'm so high on the new Guardians ride at Epcot because I truly think it's a master class roller coaster. Hmm. Um, I would make it that. I would make it a roller coaster that can pivot, like a dark a dark roller coaster. Yeah, that's what I would do. The that's crazy mole do. or vole, it I, might be called. Back in know, the that, day, that that ride was amazing. I, I want to go back so bad. I'm sure the wait is ungodly at the moment. Not to mention we're blacked out. We have a the more affordable annual pass. So not that I would want to go right now. It's so freaking hot. What is your typical archetype in RPGs? In R uh, like an MMO RPG or a tabletop RPG? I think it ta I think it covers both. But if you have different ones, that's interesting too. Uh, it is usually, yeah. I don't really like playing a tank in tabletop, but I love playing a tank in MMOs. I I've played every time I've played a tabletop role playing game, I've played a different character. Um. I either really like being a, a, a 
previous villain. My favorite character I've ever played was in the Star Wars tabletop role-playing game I played in X Imperial, and it's the most fun I've ever had role-playing anything in my life. Um, and second place would be in a one-shot d and I just played basically Drax, but he was a barbarian, and it was a lot of fun. Barbarians are really fun in d and Yeah, I really like the just uh, I want to fight things. And you're good at that's it. Just, it's, it's fun to play. It's fun to yeah. role-play. Well, and like barbarians in fifth edition in particular are just... They have no spells. There's very little options, but when you do do something, you're very good at it, and it's nice to hit. I really liked the the archer that I played uh, for you on um, There Will Be Dungeons. Yeah, the dragon hunter. That was fun. Yeah, that guy was fun. I'm trying to remember what I... Oh, yeah, I basically just based him off Rayland from Justified. <laughs> but instead of being like a... Um, like a like a because there's no swamp in justified so instead of because in justified he's a more traditional kind of like cowboy so i I ended up making him more of a of a swamp dweller redneck that i really enjoyed playing as a swamp dwelling redneck myself (laughs) florida man what what are your answers kyle what do you like role playing Um, the most if it is a tactical rpg like Dragon Age, I really like spellcasters. I like doing control, maximum force cages and knockdowns and pushbacks and just playing the tactical game while everyone else does the DPS in the party. So I guess that also goes for... Well, no, that's not the case because in Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 2 has perhaps my favorite class of all time. I believe it was called the Vanguard. It was basically a teleport dash shotgun and you just charge warrior wow style straight into someone's face and shotgun them until the shotgun ran out of ammo then you just started punching and it was so much fun <laughs> mixing that with like heavy weapons i really really love that um i did that but i think i backed it up with an smg as my backup yeah so the shotgun and the screw i didn't want to wait for the shotgun to reload so i would just pull out the smgs and start blasting in mass effect I'd- one i played as the Adept, I think it was, the spellcaster, and that was really fun because you could only use a pistol, so I felt like a super psychic cop. Like, everywhere, every cutscene, mm. I had my little pistol up, and it's like, hold, stop it, matron. Oh, no, the gas, like, and it was just a great vibe to be playing Shepard as. Mm. Um, when it comes to MMOs, though, I really don't like spellcasters. Uh, I don't like long cast bars that mm. aren't it's my own personal opinion I don't I, I think that black mage is well made and there's some cool choices about how you switch back and forth I like cast bars on healing because it feels very tactical and that I'm making decisions in some regard I just have a hard time spamming fireball I feel that I've never been big on casters either for I think a similar reason I think it's why in wow I, I liked warlock uh, specifically affliction because it was like let me get my dots up and it's more of this of this damage over time uh, ma- maintenance uh, which they've adjusted somewhat and I don't like it as much <laughs> I liked it more when it was a lot more dot heavy um, but mostly I just haven't played casters either that's why I started with a summoner in Final Fantasy 14 because I just wanted to do something different yeah. and I like summoner quite a bit but uh, damn it here I am tanking again I just I can't stay away I really like it, and I do, I really like Dark Knight. I got straight into healing, too. Like, I really, I think what I want to do, I I don't know, chat, how is Sage for, like, questing? Because Astrologian duties and stuff are really lame. I love the class. I think it's a blast to heal dungeons and heal any sort of content, but doing the duties or any sort of slaying out in the world was really laborious, and I wasn't a fan of that. Hmm. There wasn't really anything interesting to do either. I had, I didn't really have any off cooldown abilities. I had NAOE and A dot, and it was just really like 2005 level MMO play. I can feel that. So you the dash. Maintenance. Okay, I like that. I love mobility in this game. It does it very well. Yeah. Okay. It does it very well. <clears throat> Did you load up that video? Or are we gonna watch that now? Wait, the one of all of Alphano's jumps or whatever. No, the other thing that you said you were going to Google before you walked away. 
Oh, I was gonna I was gonna save a link to it. What we'll probably do is uh, compile all these links and maybe do a little video watching. Actually, uh, maybe Wednesday, uh, if you've got the time, we could do a. Maybe, maybe we'll do might. a little video catch up. I I might ask me at a later date. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've got to check my calendar too, but <laughs> do a little video watching. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have a uh, we'll have a reacts day, a reacts stream, a reacts relax stream. Yeah, reacts relax. Reacts relaxation. We'll, we'll 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 workshop that name. I like it. We'll I'm workshop get, that name. I'm getting you back in your home here. Nice. Do you need to run? Uh, oh, Do I you was need still a break? out. Uh, no, no, I'm good. Oh, cool. All right. Well, then let's engage the Hien. Hien engaged. He's got food. Cable detached. Us. Great shot, Jetson. Jetson, Jason. What is this? Jensen. Jensen. Jen Jensen. Jensen. One more oh, pace. geez, I'm auto advancing. What does Hien say? Oh, you're right. While you were out searching for Jifuya, we received word from our shinobi allies. An airship has been sighted over Doman soil. Shocked. Our visitor's objective remains unclear. It may be another attempt to recover Yotsuyu or a prelude to invasion. Either way, the craft reportedly advanced at speed and appeared bound for the Castrum Fluminus. I mean to go there and assert their intent. If we ride out in force, it will only end one way. So we shall keep our numbers to a minimum. Yagiri, Val, Duna, can I count on you? Yes, my lord. Alice and I would fain play our part as well. We will not stand idly by while a common foe threatens the lands of our friends and allies. We'll be glad of the help. You are acquainted with Hakuro, I believe? Then I bid you seek him out and assist him in maintaining order in the Enclave. When the people see an Imperial airship, they are liable to panic. I would have you reassure them and, should it come to it, aid in their evacuation. Very well, we shall depart at once. Do take care. My hair is fabulous. What of me, my lord? The Empire will well be after Yotsuyu. You are to remain here and guard her until my return. As you wish. Pray, stay close to Tuna, Val, and Yugiri. Can't wait to see Gosetsu have his big comeback fight scene. Well, well. Guard duty and not a breath of protest. Now I have seen it all. <laughs> to Castrum uh... Fulminus, then. Let us find out what the Empire's game is. You are all being fabulous, by the way. I appreciate the lack of spoilers throughout. It is worth mentioning, if you join our Discord, we do have a channel in there called Ongoing Stream Spoiler, where you could talk in secret about things you might know are coming. If you yeah, feel yeah. If the you need. Have, if you want to yeah, have a spoiler just... chat, Kyle and I have that shit muted. You can go nuts. Yep, go nuts. Be nice to our mods. But we do not look at any of the spoiler channels. Go nuts. Be nice to our mods. Um, God, is there even, can we fly here easily? This wall is huge. Uh, Castrum, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay the 70 and just teleport on over to Namai. Yeah. For a little wall easier. jump there. Boy, howdy do I wish you could fly straight up in this game. Holding, holding the jump button doesn't count because you go at a very slow speed. You don't go at flight speed. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So is the Castrum just the base or is it the, the thing in the... Oh, it is the base. Okay, I really want to know more about the zip line and the big tower in the distance. The super zip line? Yeah, the super zip line. Off we go. I can show you the world. What is... There are creepy Tanaka. What? I was just curious, the night song here, I believe, is called... The day theme is called A Father's Pride. What's the night theme called? A Mother's Pride. Interesting. Hmm. 
Well, uh, would that be a reference to the lore out in the steppes? How the like their their male god is the sun and the female god is the moon? Oh, that'd be weird in uh, Gang Shai here. I wonder. I, I wonder how closely it's tied to Yotsuyu, maybe even Gotsetsu. Not sure who the mom would be. Yotsuyu had a horrible mom, but and, and a horrible dad. Yeah, <laughs> they both yeah. Were horrible. Both, both were horrible. Uh, I mean, there's Gotsetsu who might be the dad, but does that mean Yagiri's the mom? Might just be, <laughs> you're mm. the mommy. Well, <laughs> might just be the title of a song too. It's a reference to something, but spoilers. Okay. okay. Cool. All right. Well, it's, it's good to know that that has meaning. That's cool. All right. Well, Looks like I'll be talking to myself. Seth and all, thank you for the super chat. Kyle, if you want a class that can heal while still bringing the hurt in solo duties, Arcanist gives you both attached to the same base class. Bring Scholar to the dungeons, go summoner for solo. Oh, right. I always forget about Scholar. Scholar, wait, Scholar becomes white mage, right? Or am I confused? No, you're confused. Arcanist becomes both Scholar and Summoner and they level up in tandem. So Scholar is a completely different healing class than White Mage. That is my understanding. What's their theme then? Yeah, Conjure. Conjure, Conjure is the base class for White Mage. What's Scholar's theme then? Like they, they do it with learning? OG Shield Healer. You get a healing, like, um, minion. Oh, very, 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 very yeah, early on. The fa is there a cool? Oh, I, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to diss on anybody's fairies. I'm not a huge fan of fairies. Can I get? A, I'm with you. I also have no. There's I, the fairies do nothing for me. Can I get like a angry fairy or a sexy fairy or something? <laughs> angry, sexy, or evil? Yes. Like. Can I enhance? my fairy to a type of fairy that I might know only fairies. The ta the sh I love shield healers. I love shields. I think shields are a really cool way to do healing. Barely even see it. Okay, maybe I can get over the hump. Your fairy can get thick. Okay. Thick fairy? Thick fairies with two Cs. Okay. You can eat okay. your fairy. Oh, it's good quest lines. She gets thick at 80. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Die high. I have no idea. Uh, uh, maybe Xenos gets a Xenos rear end. I don't know. All right. Engaging here. Okay. All right, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. I have, I've ignored it because the fairy. Oh, is this the thick fairy right here? Oh, well, uh, it does have thigh highs. Magical thigh highs. Ian says, the area is secure. Whatever our visitors purpose, they, are, they plainly believe they can achieve it alone. The craft should come into view in any moment. Let us await them inside the castrum. And cuts it. <laughs> Luke, thy eyes hold up the magic. <laughs> <laughs> Is probably a disable auto advance. I assume so. May already have it disabled though, because we just did multiple non-voice empty cutscenes. These airships always give me covenant vibes. I can see that. Needs more purple. Yeah, and they don't really do the twisty what? Why is it smoking? A smoke signal? Thoughts, you giddy? Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Thank you for your he and patience. In former times, such signals were used to announce the coming of an emissary of peace. In Doma, at least. But could that truly be their intent? She is talking far too loud. I'm used to your voice. <laughs> Who can say? He and is doing your Yugiri voice right now. Whatever they want. We cannot simply blast them out of the sky. Not when they were so gracious as to honor one of our cherished traditions. I would not have it said that we Dormans want for propriety. Then I shall go and reconnoiter. Nay, that won't words. be necessary. 
We will meet them openly. That's a good word. I would welcome this student of Dorman history in person, whomsoever he or she may be. I like how pissed he is about the smoke signal. <laughs> As you wish, my lord. I shall arrange for a signal of our own to be fired in answer. It's patch 420. The Garleans are blazing up in celebration. It is patch 4.2. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, it's a terrible and great joke. I love it. What? This rickety piece yeah. of crap. Makes me think it's a stolen vessel. Yeah. Wait, wait. Is, is that the hand? It's our hand man. Wait, what? Do we know these people? Uh, well, that we should be received by the Lord of Dorma. Himself. Oh, shit. Didn't Yotsuyu have a brother that got all preferred treatment? I but afford an emissary of peace. Got the sent to like captain school or something. Oh. Welcome to Dorma, my lord. Because that, oh. that face is very much ah, a copy. Where am I? An evolution. I am Asahi Sus Brutus, ambassador plenipotentiary of Garlemont. He even has bangs. He's a, he's a sass, too. He's up there. He's heir to the Nayori clan and Yotsu's stepbrother. There you go. Nailed it. Nailed it. You called it, dude. It seems I need not introduce myself. Not in the presence of the famed Yugiri Mistwalker. Your skills as a shinobi are known far and wide, my lady. Oh, my lady. <laughs> it is true. The former acting viceroy is my sister. Yet, bonds of kinship aside, we have precious little in common. As will soon become plain, I come not to sow strife, but to end it. She's the Azula man. Like, this is going down. He's nuts. I am of the Populares, a collective which represents the interests of the common man. Long have we labored to bring about reform to the Empire's provincial policy. Happily for us, our master acknowledges the need for change. Indeed, his radiance, Emperor Varis Zos Galvus, personally sanctioned this mission, granting me the authority to speak with his voice. Oh, <laughs> oh God, I hate this guy yeah, already. This to negotiate good. peace with Dorma. Oh, you want to negotiate peace after we kicked your ass? Okay. Sounds good. Oh, he had space. Well then, we have much to discuss. Good response. Will you accompany me to Dude, my this hall? this is seriously Game of Thrones when it was good. Like, Gladly, my lord. Oh, this is just some great, like everybody here just wants to murder each other. Yeah. But they gotta, they gotta put the face on. Well done. This is great. It was totally this is freaking great. Also, good call, dude. Dude, I wouldn't have done it without the hair. Like they gave him kind of a similar face, but the fact that he had like the bang divide. Good on them for including that. This haircut, whatever it may be. <laughs> it's a terrible haircut. Oh, uh, cause but he's saying, works. you're right about the Game of Thrones thing too. I love it. Cause he's saying all the right things, mm -hmm. but he's doing it so maliciously. Yeah. All right, I'm moving also, straight his, on. His name makes me want a beer. Asahi? Is that a beer type? Every Japanese restaurant you go to, your options are Asahi or Sapporo. Hmm. Those are your two options of standard Japanese beer. I don't. I don't like beer. Is it good? Is it good beer? It's serviceable. Okay. It's it's nothing I'm particularly. Um, passionate about but it's uh it's it pairs very well with japanese food i like cider but here in oregon all the ciders are carbonated which to me is just atrocious why would they ruin good cider? they love it here <laughs> in oregon i'm so sorry i forgot yes kieran which by the way is always my choice i always go for a kieran hmm. at, a, at a japanese restaurant uh, all right hien says uh, oh wait i'm not hien <laughs> i'm so sorry we shall escort our guests across the river to the enclave Yugiri, pray go ahead to the Yuzuka Manor docks and see that the ferries are ready. <laughs> did, did, did you know? Freaking bowl cut, yuck. All right, uh, I, listen, I'll go, I'll go back for the haircut this much. Like that's, it's, 
I feel like it's it's giving it a disservice to just call it a bowl cut. It is a very high fashion bowl it, cut. I mean, it is shaped to some degree. My dad would cut my hair. He'd get out a pair of glasses and then cut around the glasses. So the glasses would mark where my sideburns were going to be and the top of the glasses would mark where my hair was going to be and he'd just trim based on the shape of a pair of glasses. Oh, Christ. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, my parents would cut my hair, too. I hated it. They gave they gave me, like, a comb-over when I was a kid. A comb-over? They, like, hard part, like, over to the side. Like, I just look like an absolute freaking dweeb. Brutal. Can we yeah. Get... Are we going and to then, the house? Where are we going? When I, uh, we're just going straight Oh, west. right, we're going to the docks. Okay. When I was in high school, I used to do, like, like, like small liberty spikes and I would literally when it was time for a haircut I would spike it out and then just cut the ends off that works I cut my own hair because I got sick of my dad's haircut Ugh. I'm glad we just have rocking buzzers now so I can just go and then change the side as a couple of times I mean, granted, I'm cutting a toddler's hair. Why are you hair, flying so... faster than me? Am I flying faster than you? Oh, I had fr I was freaking slash walking. Oh my god. Oh, how Why is that working in the air? My heart goes out to you, Garrett. Thank you, Capper. <laughs> I appreciate your heart. Yeah, now I I haven't cut my own hair in forever. I we, I just I go to a, I have a local salon I go to. Actually, I just haven't had my hair cut in forever at this point. It's getting long. No, well, they're they're all being real kind. Oh. Read it. Re, you need to read whatever they're saying with a big, fat, thick layer of smug. Oh, totally. No, this is a huge cloud of smug. All right, engaging Yagiri. Lord he and I will accompany the Imperial delegation on the first ferry. When you're ready, speak to the boatman and join us on the other side. Sometimes you read you, Gary, a little too sexily, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Kyle needs to be a phone operator. Well, you know, you, Gary's, uh, you know, she's top tier waifu material, I feel. All right, heading to the Dome and Enclave. Nice. $10 says it's a cutscene. Nope. But we are back now. Oh. This is the first time we've been here since we finished Kugane or Doma Castle. There's two castles now that in my brain. Is true. Can't fly here. I am 6'3. Ethernet charts? Did I pick these up? I did not. Oh. The tuning. Oh, this whole place is a. Oh, well, it was just an empty shell when we were here last time. Look at this. Oh, this is pretty cool. A tune yells Alex G. I'm going to this one over here. I'm doing yeah, it. I'm, I'm just taking a look around. I'm doing it. You can't stop me. I'm going to go a tune. This whole patch has just been taunting people about housing. We had to listen to Alphano spent an entire house worth of money on a sword. People here are building houses and you can't get in. By the way, we did YOLO on a large, if you saw. I saw that, yeah. We put two bids on a stack of 163 at the time. Oh, yeah. Listen, man. Hey, if the gods are... If, if the universe is with us. Could you imagine? That'd be wild. I mean, the, the having a odds, large would be nuts. The odds are so not in our favor. However, dude, if that was the odds for a lottery, I would play that lottery every week. Yeah, not a bad chance. Oh, we already lost. It's already over. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, there it goes. There we go. Next time. Appreciate you guys dropping that. Yesterday it got away from me. Next time. Next time. Oh, shoot. There's some triple triad up in here. Who did you who did you romance in Mass Effect, Kyle? It Tally. Was, it was Tally. Tally. She said it's one hundred percent the Yugiri like surrogate. Oh, totally. And yeah. and Yugiri showed up in a mask and stuff, so they're beautiful you know, your imagination takes their beauty beyond the means of which is why this the photo at the end of Mass Effect three was so stupid. Because you just don't show the face and she's as beautiful as your imagination can make. It's like horror, <laughs> but sexy. <laughs> Don't oh show the monster. God. Yeah, yeah, no. Not Yugiri and... Uh, oh my god. Yeah, Tally. No, I, I never... Tally was never on my radar in Mass Effect. Oh, 
Oh, she was cute. Did you play one though? You played one, right? I played one. Okay. Yeah, I played one. I thought she was cool, but I wasn't romantically interested. Engaging the Hien. There you are, Val, Tuna. So first things first, what do you think of the Enclave? I must say I'm quite proud of what my countrymen have accomplished in the time. We even have an ether right now, courtesy of Oni Shishu. Be sure and attune to it, would you? Once it has the Warrior of Light seal of approval, people might actually start using the thing. But on the matter at hand, the ambassador and his retinue are at my hall, taking their ease ahead of negotiations. I want you there when the talking starts. It will serve to send a message to the Empire that Eorzea and Doma stand united. I am not normally one for hollow posturing, but in this game of nations, <laughs> such gestures carry weight. Oh, and should you feel uneasy about speaking for the Scions, Alphino and Alize will also be there. You need only eat, drink, and look imposing. Say you'll come. I'll be there. Oh, you're muted. Oh, very well. Are you going with the oh, very well? Yes. All right, let me know what happens. What is your say? I knew I could count on you. Mine says it, uh, it promises to be a dull affair, to be sure, but you have survived far worse. <laughs> when you are ready, come and join me at my humble abode. The Ki? Kai? Kien Khan? Kien Khan? Kien Khan. The My favorite guardsman. convention. The guardsman will see you in. Yeah, I don't know if an K I E N, because you say the I's as E's, but if it's got a consonant before it, I don't know if you pronounce it as E anymore. Mm. Jelani, thank you for the super chat. Mass Effect waifu slash husbando poll, please. Liara is bay. <laughs> well, now, if you're putting up against each other, then you've got Garrus to contend with. Like, that ain't right. Yeah, that's a long poll. Yeah, that's a big poll. And I'm not talking about Garrus, although am I? I mean, if I ever got like a really big dog, I'd name it Garrus. He is bro number one. <laughs> Our Wojo, thank you for the super chat. 700 watching, 205 likes. Something th seems off. Very kind of you. Hit the like thank button, you everybody. Thank you for supporting us and shaming the like count in, yes. the, same, in the same stroke. Make Our Wojo happy. And then Silent Mike is celebrating two months of being a member of our lovely channel, hanging out in the gearbox. You can now start doing the Doman reconstruction quest. Just throw random things in the donation basket and help make it a nicer place. Really? You just, it's just like, a, like put your garbage here? Wait, does it do things like visually? Could I upgrade it? Because I know we've been to Idleshire and stuff and it's already pre-upgraded. So will this advance based on our own solo play? Hmm. Really? Wait, I recommend doing the reconstruction quest now as they reset tomorrow. Oh, as in it's like a weekly. I could come by here weekly and drop my things and get a little more. Oh, that's cool. So I guess they noted, is that a response to people like us? I mean, granted, we're way after the fact, but people being like, oh, Idleshire, I never got to participate. It advanced before I even got to play or while I was offline, people completed everything and I didn't actually get to enjoy it. I, 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 don't, I don't mind that at all, personally. You can put dungeon armor in here. I mean, I am maxed out basically on crests. I don't really need to drop the crest dudes anymore. I use so many glam crystals, man. Yeah. <laughs> I just buy them with my, with that. Plus, I'm still getting furniture from it that I want for my room. There are a couple furniture items in there, but... I still haven't bought my uh, Admiral portrait, which is a must-have. Wait, this was before Idleshire. No, it wasn't. Wait, oh, did Idleshire upgrade based on something else at a different time? I thought Idleshire was Heaven's Ward uh, it was Alexander Heaven. content. There's... This came after this it. Came... Yeah. Okay. No, no, okay. probably I misunderstood. Uh, you all misunderstood what I said. I probably didn't say it very well. My question is, is this restoration project a different... Is it influenced by people's desire to evolve Idleshire in a solo play? Foundation. Okay, cool. I got a little confused with the foundation too. 
You're all good, Mythos. Mm. Thank you for the clarification. Gotcha. That's cool. That's looked like was upgraded by Patch. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that just oh that oh so that actually wasn't tied to anything. It just upgraded on Patch, and now we'll never get to see what it used to look like because the patches have rolled. Yeah. Hmm. So Carto, thank you for the super chat. Domain reconstruction is a fully instance activity with its own charming storyline and multiple phases and cutscenes. Takes about two or three months if you max out your donations every week. Oh wow. That's cool though, and it's quite the uh, commitment. Yeah, but you know you're helping out here, and you're you're, you're building a little home away from home. Can I get an apartment here? That'd be badass. That would be cool. Probably not, because I, I haven't heard anything about it. Never came up in any of our housing talks, unless people are being really spoiler free, which I would be amazed by. Just visual upgrades. Okay, it's still cool. All right, you ready to head in? Yeah. All right. I definitely this. wasn't trying to Google a quickly copy and pasteable list of all romanceable characters in Mass Effect. <laughs> Did you wanna put that pull up? <laughs> and now I'm just morbidly curious, but if it'll take too long, also I don't is there a limit to how many options? Because there's a lot of mofos you can romance in that effect. I think so. Here, let me see how many options we we can only get four options in a YouTube poll. Ah, so. Yeah. Alas. Nah, yeah, there's no good way to do a do a poll here. Alas. Y'all can just shout your husband or waifu, and we can go from there. Alright. I'm gonna talk to Kian Khan Guardsman. Bring it on. Who has fabulous hair. Old Hien is expecting you. I'm with you. I'll show you in. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, shit. Cutscene. Record, Garrett. Record. <clears throat> now everyone's going to fight in chat room about who, who to romance. Thirst kindly, everybody. <laughs> That's a great phrase. On behalf of my delegation, I offer you my humblest thanks. Never did I imagine that I would meet the gallant and noble Lord of Dorma himself, nor be welcomed into his magnificent hall. Let me know when you're at hall. Oh, I'm so sorry. I pulled a Kyle. I will I'm see you next time. You'll forgive me I'm if we peace. forgo the pleasantries. You say you are come me getting, to negotiate Getting peace. philosophical. <laughs> I'm literally at the word peace. Did Yotsuyu have a title? Uh, you I know, a Garlean middle name? So. I don't I, believe so. I don't think so either, but she became a viceroy. So I guess maybe I don't know the ranks. She did? Yes, vice, but like a, like a middle name. What was her? No middle name. Yes, she did. Some people are saying it was Go. Okay. Other people are saying Sauce. Okay. Was she Sauce? No, Sauce is uh, her brother here. Let's continue the cutscene and we'll come okay. back to this. Sounds good. Are you at peace? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Go would make sense because that would put her well, well below her brother. Unless I am mistaken, such negotiations are typically conducted between sovereign nations. I was not aware that the Emperor had recognized Dormer's sovereignty. Mm, nice move he in. His radiance has yet to do so, that much is true. Know, however, that he has expressed willingness to oh, cede so Dorma to her ancestral to masters and treat with back. her as a friend. You can't fire me, I quit. <laughs> Since the days of Emperor Solus, the Empire has aggressively expanded its territory. While you may not agree with our Founding Father's policy of expansion, I believe there is room for discussion on the matter of his lifelong goal, to rid the world of icons. Icons are a blight upon this star. They cannot be suffered to exist. This you know as well as we. In his wisdom, Emperor Varus wishes to explore the possibility of an alliance to combat this common threat. 
on the condition that Dorma renounces summoning and pledges to police the Corjin's practice of it, his radiance would extend the hand of friendship. Dorma has never shown any appetite for summoning, and it should go without saying that we will address any threat to our people, Icon or otherwise. With regard to the Kojin, I must stress that they only resorted to summoning under extreme provocation. When the Ruby Sea was at peace and their sacred relics safe, they looked not to their kami for protection. Yet even now there are certain parties who would destabilize the region with ill-conceived military forays. Unless they alter their course, we cannot hope to be rid of icons. Quite. I can but apologize. In seeking to eliminate icons, the Empire creates them. Tis an irony among ironies, one with which the people of Eorzea are well acquainted, I am told. Alphano being like, hmm, that's true, low-key making sense. Indeed. Many summonings are the result of persecution, <laughs> the weak being driven to call upon the divine for deliverance from the strong. Yeah, he throws it right back in So face. it was in Alamigo. The bitter fruit of Galian oppression. A tragic state of affairs. If we are to put an end to summoning once and for all, it shall not be through might, but harmony. Yet we continue to repeat our mistakes, oblivious we, to the lessons of history. You. It's really good voice acting that they're saying such good things. It's My comrades way. and I would change all yeah. that. We, Popularis, have campaigned long and hard for a shift in Imperial policy. And at last, the Emperor has seen fit to lend us an ear. Alas, there is a faction within Garlemald that would obstruct our every attempt at reform. A collection of pure-blooded Garlians who seek to consolidate their own supremacy. The Optimates. Lest you wonder, theirs was the hand that loosed our forces on the Confederacy. Twas a regrettable incident, one that flies in the face of everything we believe. And I swear to do all in my power to prevent a reoccurrence. That would be most welcome. But if I may speak plain, if the Empire itself is not of one mind, how can we be certain that any peace we negotiate will be honored? Good counter. I cannot blame you for doubting us. Indeed, I should find it strange if you did not. And so, in the name of building trust, I would like to there make a is. proposal. A prisoner exchange. Hmm. Who would they have? Under Galian rule, no few Dormans were oh, conscripted into the Imperial Army. We would oh. repatriate them in return for those of ours you captured in the recent conflict. Right, they're basically their whole force that they took Naturally, from Naturally, any <laughs> exchange would include the acting Viceroy. Yotsuo? What makes you think we have her? Forgive me, my lord. Was it not your wish to speak plain? Let us not play games. I desire only to work to our mutual benefit. The Optimates tried and failed to take my sister by force. I would succeed by peaceable means, thereby strengthening my party's hand. It would be a lie to say I would not also be glad of my sister's safe return. Hmm. A fellow plain speaker. How refreshing. Very well. Your proposal has merit, but I will need time to consider it. Of course, my lord. May we remain in Dorma until you have come to a decision? <laughs> you shall be our honored guest. I typically scowl while welcoming people into my home. You giddy. I leave the ambassador and his retinue in your care. See that they are well looked after.
You have oh, our gratitude, grass. Lord Hien. We shall look forward to your answer. My most trusted assassin, please escort them. Ah, uh, what a thing. What a perfectly casted a hole. Yeah, no, very, very well done. That voice acting is great. Great little uh, game of words there. Mm hmm. One might say game, it was about game thrones. Game of words. Perhaps? Yeah, mm. yeah. Hmm. Thrones at play. Yeah. Interesting. All right, continuing. Yes, continue. Well, I have, real quick, uh, Imaran, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the Gearbox. Ooh, Enjoy nice. your emojis. And we also got a super chat from Whoa Dude. <laughs> Is that how I'm going to pronounce that? Whoa Dude, if you meant to include a message, feel free to at us at Grinding Gear. It'll give us a little highlight. Um, and if otherwise, thank you for the support. Thank you for the support. I've recovered from my sneeze. Is that what that face was? Yeah, it didn't happen, though. In my oh, eyes. This is the worst. Yeah. This is the worst. Whew. This is the pits. Shall we see what Hien says? Yes. Allow me to. Oh, wait. I think I can tab over and then hit enter. Nope. I need to. There we go. There we go. Okay. Well, that was unexpected. You could say that again. I still don't know quite what to make of it all. But on the surface, a prisoner exchange does seem a good way to begin. The question is, can they be trusted? Hmm. They had not to gain by divulging the details of their internal divisions. As it stands, we have no reason to doubt them. But the ambassador mentioned of Yotsuyu left me ill at ease. It made his grand talk of peace seem uncannily like a lengthy preamble. You think this might be, uh, might all be a ruse to facilitate her retrieval? Perhaps. Though I cannot fathom why they would go to such lengths, Yotsuyu may have been the acting viceroy, but she's not Garlean, nor even highborn. Her value must presumably lie in what she knows. Which brings me to the little matter of her memory loss. In her present condition, she would not yield any worthwhile intelligence nor is she worth much as a bargaining piece. Alphano, you are well acquainted with the Empire's methods. I would have your thoughts on this matter. My knowledge is at your disposal, Lord Hien. While the Ambassador's proposal is appealing in principle, it would be remiss of us not to give it due scrutiny. Indeed, though it seems to me I have little choice but to accept regardless, with so much of our brothers and sisters languishing in Imperial camps, I cannot well turn my back on a chance to secure their rep... What is that? Repatriation. Oh, repatriation. I see. I really had to think about that. Not Sorry. My the... brain was spinning. No, thank you. Only the Kami know when I will be able to afford another. But ere we continue, shall we excuse these two? I fear what follows will bore them to tears. I was just about to show myself out as it happens. Come on, Val. Let's leave Alphano to discuss his... <laughs> to dispense his copious knowledge. As I am sure you have already gathered. <laughs> Someone is still sore from being made to watch Sakazuki. Go on and keep Alize company. We are safe enough for now. Nodders. Nodders and leaves. Yep. Yeah, let's say when he was he was like, Alpha, no, I'd like to know your your, your you know, thoughts on the subject, and it was like two sentences. It was like, oh, he should have just followed that up with that's it. That's the tweet. <laughs> Alpha no's Twitter would not be one I enjoy. <laughs> 
As I'm sure you have already gathered, <laughs> the situation that is declining in Doma could easily be... Actually, that sounds like a rather fun uh, parody account. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha tweets. It's just a highly political account, but it's about a fi the fictional politics of the, the fictional world of Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> uh. <laughs> then you need to make other fictional yep. accounts yeah, that exactly. he, quote, retweets. Like, look at this absolute dingus. <laughs> Add a bunch of Alizé tweets. I'm not saying who posted this, however. <laughs> Dude, that would be so freaking hilarious. Uh, Nano, thank you for the super chat. Fun fact, the Popularis and Optima uh, Optimates were the two biggest political parties of the Roman Empire. 14 lore, uh, loves history and literature. That makes sense. That makes sense why it all goes over my head. Yeah, the Latin, so they use the actions from that time period well done yeah whoa dude thanks for the uh, additional super chat ah asahi the most kind and generous character in all of 14. clearly trust obviously pours from them yeah so he seems extremely sincere and has no ulterior motives to speak of none at all none at all and then uh saya thank you for becoming a member of our channel and supporting kyle and myself welcome to the gearbox you've got a emotes now as well as access to the members only channel in our discord actually channels there's multiple there's I, multiple dude i like the the through line that eric's building alphano used reddit until his subreddit got stolen by the mods he recruited <laughs> <laughs> slash crystal braves the uh, crystal Bla braves took it over and then banned alphano from his own subreddit that's great. That's Launched wonderful. This podcast. Yeah, he didn't think to see if they were really like a little too active on 4chan beforehand. Wow. <laughs> Elaine, thank you for the super chat. Per Yoshi P, Alfie is a recovering Redditor. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's fantastic. I know it's his favorite character, which makes sense because he's the DM's character. Mm. That makes sense. That makes sense. Alizai says, Alizai says, a ah, chance to relax at last. I know when I'm out of my depth, Al Tuna. Though no weapons were drawn, a negotiation is no less a battle, and the stakes can be ever bit as high. One misplaced word and people could die. It takes someone with a cool head, and I'll be first to admit that's not me. So we are left with the eternal question. What do we do while they prattle on? Sweet I'm gonna steak. eat some Zoe steak. Yeah. Just lying, I took the money. <laughs> His forgotten home. Oh, suddenly cutscene. Uh, our new dude has a sword drawn in the preview picture. Yeah. Alice say says. All right. For want of a better suggestion, what do you say? What you, what say you to a brief tour of the newly liberated Doma? I'd be interested to hear how the people are faring in their own words. And it's not as if we'll be missed here, or will we? Oh, wonderful. Val Tuna, a moment, if you would. Ah, Yugiri, and Asahi, was it? You have some business with Val? Business, no pleasure, my lady. I merely wish to exchange a few words with the famed Slayer of Gods and Champion of Aeotia. It is truly an honor. Such heartfelt admiration. One could almost forget that you're an envoy of the Empire. Oh, is that so strange? We may have stood on opposing sides in the past, but I see no contradiction in lauding the man who would do battle with our common enemy. And lest you forget, this is my homeland. It would be remiss of me not to at least thank him for containing the threat posed by the Kojin's vile icon. Now, if I may continue, as we speak, Lord Hien deliberates over my proposal. And I would take this time to see the land I once called home. Though 
Lady Yugiri is certain to be a jovial escort. The excursion would be all the more enjoyable for your company, and safer besides. The ambassador has the right of it. He is not like to come to any to harm with you at his side. Will you join us? <laughs> I'm going with it would be my pleasure. Cool. I'm going for that one too. Keep my eye on this. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to be there. In that case, I will join you as well. There is naught else to do until Lord Hien has reached his decision, and I can think of no finer way to learn more about the current state of Doma. It's settled then. The four of us shall make a brief excursion through Yancha. Might we start in the town of Monzen? I would see what has become of Doma Castle. Very well. It, it's you just got me. the it's just got the Epcot parting our dust walls up. We're building something magical. <laughs> Please excuse us while we build something magical. The yeah. future is bright. Epcot's finally starting to come together with that damn Guardians ride being done. What is this? Oh, where are we going? They're in a cutscene. Yeah, I'm, going. I'm going to view their pet. What's, what, what is this? Oh, it's like a it's little, got a halo. Like a little ghost angel? I can see a halo. That's cute. Uh, R. Wojo, thank you for the super chat. Every time Joffrey is around, I get the heebie-jeebies. Asahi. Crap, I meant Asahi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I like it. I like it. Why'd you come here? That poor, that poor actor, man. I feel like everyone just thinks he's the most evil bastard on the oh, planet. Oh, you're going that way, okay. Has he done anything else? I mean, I, I know he was in, in Batman. I was, I, I was just thinking about that. I haven't seen him in anything since, and, and Batman predated Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. He had a very small role in that. No, he, he caught the, what, like the little spyglass Batman was using, and mm. his parents fought. He's a damn good actor, too. I'd like to see him in more stuff. He might oh, just he retired be from low. Acting. Oh, okay. Uh, if it was his choice, then more power to him. Hope he's enjoying it. Yeah. Well, and psychologically or subconsciously, those things have huge effects. Even if people aren't being, you know, rude to the actor itself, it was the uh, ghost uh, actor. Over here, buddy. Over here. Where, where'd I go? <laughs> I just saw you fly by overhead. Oh, man. Uh, the, the male lead in Ghost, if you remember that old 80s movie, he couldn't, like, go to a restaurant anywhere because people would be like, there's Patrick something. Patrick Swayze? No, no, no. It was the bad guy in Ghost. And everywhere he went, oh. someone was like, I don't like you. There's something about your face I don't like. They, they didn't know who he was. They couldn't make the connection. But everywhere the guy went, people hated him. That's that's rough. Yeah, that's rough, buddy. Just checking out, checking out, seeing what everyone has to say. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have engaged the quest talker. Wonderful, Asahi says, Nay, can this truly be Monzen, home of the cream of Doma's samurai? I had heard that Yatsuyu intended to send some few of our automata. Uh, automata? Is that, is that right? Yeah, near automata. <clears throat> oh, send I guess so, yeah. Send some few of our automata here, but only by way of warning. It should not have come to this. I don't know anything about Nier. Is it a Square Enix project? I know they did a crossover. I've heard about. I know. This I, game. I don't. I don't know anything about Nier either. I just know a lot of people uh, are thirsty about Nier. That's it. I see a lot of Nier stickers on Japanese import cars when I go to car meets, and they are very revealing. Hmm. Oh, it's published. Okay. Published by Square Enix. Okay, but not the not the developing studio. Didn't they just sell off a huge amount of their assets? Square Enix? Square? I believe they did. They sell off Tomb Raider? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Platinum makes near Square Enix publishes it. Okay. Okay. Platinum Games. So there you go. Cool, cool, cool. Asahi continues. Indeed, this, her savagery served only to incense the people and spur them to rise up in protest. It was holy... Uh, folly, sorry. It was folly to think such methods of governance could ever prove effective. 
<sighs> the sooner we can begin to make amends for the senseless destruction, the better. Securing supplies and support for the reconstruction effort should not prove difficult. Once our nations are formally at peace, of course. Yes, of course. If you would have a if you would have a better view of what remains of the castle, we must proceed through the ruins. It was their North American studios they sold off. This was very oh, recent, by the way. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know it was a localized selling effort. It was like effort. two or three weeks ago when the news broke. I yeah. I guess we haven't been to Doma Castle, so wait, is it back there? Uh, it was dead ahead. Oh, it's, it's in the water. Yeah, I saw the roof yeah, there. It gone. Okay. All right, my own curiosity it led me off. I'm coming down. Gone. I liked those new Tomb Raider games. I thought they were solid. They were fun. Um, I, the bow craze was weird. I don't know who it, did it first. It was. I think Tomb Raider predated Horizon. Yeah. But um, there was also the Hunger Games, which I feel like culturally brought in the oh, bow. Oh, that's right. Yep. Yeah, because that, that Tomb Raider remake was shortly after the Hunger Game, the first Hunger Games movie, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, and now we're in, like, space horror by the looks of E3 news. Yeah, space is scary is, is this year's trend. Scary space, Kyle. Do you like scary space? I do like scary space. Asahi continues. Very well. It is a travesty. A travesty. I remember the keep being so beautiful. In the light of the setting sun, one would swear it was a flame. It is indeed a doleful spectacle. Perhaps we will rebuild it one day, when we have finished helping our people to rebuild their lives. Spoken like a true popularis, the needs of the people must of course come first. Speaking of whom, would you be opposed to my seeing how they live firsthand? The village of Namai is but a short journey from here, if I'm not mistaken. By river, yes. If you follow me, I will ready our boat. I'm enjoying this little aside. Yeah, I find it all the more interesting now that we know the ranking structure with the middle name because He's talking as a popularist, which makes it think that he's some kind of outside faction, but he still has a decent rank yeah. in the military, which adds weight to his words. Otherwise, without the middle name business that I know, I would be like, eh, I mean, this guy's just kind of crazy. He's part of some faction. Who knows if he actually has any pull? Yeah. It's that time of uh, it's that time of the week. Leap blowers outside. I'm gonna let my cat out. I'll be back 30 seconds. Oh, okay. <laughs> This break brought to you by Leaf Blower Scaring Cats. Get yours today. Meow. My cat is asleep right next to me. It's rather adorable. You called it early, Garrett. What did I call early? All right, I'm back. What did I call early? What did you call early? I'm being told I called it early, but I'm not sure what I called early. Imarin, thank you for the super chat. The reveal of Tali's face was just horribly handled. The stock photo with horrid Photoshop. <laughs> Tali deserved better. I'm so she glad did. that you did. 100% reserved better, man. We're, we're I still so... angry. These are the kind of super chats where I go, I, I'm so glad you decided to support us while also including such a specific soapbox. I love it. It's so true. It was so messed up. Like, and... Oh, the stock photo was found so fast. I don't mind stock photos. Like, I've seen, I've seen movie posters called out and stuff. No, no, like that's how you make a poster. But uh, I, I, work's got to get done, man. Yeah, and you can like that game was already run behind. There was tons of crunch on Mass Effect Three, as I remember it too. So, yeah. Oh, okay. I got you, Jelani. I the last time you got up. Uh, I was like, maybe a cat needed to go out or maybe Kyle just needed to take a poo. Now, nah, poor, poor uh, cat is terrified of leaf blowers. Mm, not not much scares scares my cat. 
The dogs, on the other hand, the oldest and the youngest are terrified of thunder. Zelda, the middle dog, she just gets mad at it and starts barking. She like wants to scare the thunder away. Alex G, that was the saddest part about, I want to say Apex Legends. What was the Bioware game that crashed hard with the space suits? Anthem. Anthem. Yeah, the Bioware Apex magic. Legends is what we started playing afterwards. Oof, oof. But uh, that's interesting, Blueberry Elf. I didn't know that they improved the picture in the Legendary Edition. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> I need to finish playing through the Legendary Edition. I'm, I'm about halfway through two, and then I, I wandered off to play this game, actually. This is the game that took me away from my replay of Mass Effect. No complaints. I should start playing that. I've been wanting a, a, a chill couch game. I should I should pick up Mass Effect again. I should finish that. I'm going to get uh, God of War. Not God of War, uh, or it's God of War, God of War. It's just, it's called, it's God just of, called God of War. just called God of War, but that's why I'm picking up the Steam sale. That's yeah. going to be my, my chill game. Yes, let me know what you think, man. Das, thank you for the super chat. Tali is clearly best girl. <laughs> However, I also enjoyed Mass Effect Andromeda, and for that game, Vetra Nyx was my reason to play through. Vetra. I haven't played Andromeda. I got to a point where it asked me to, to farm three planets for three different things, and I said, you know what? I've done this enough. Hmm... Oh, she was, um, I forget the, the Turian. So she was, uh, Turian Garrus for you. Okay. And she the was last very Mass cool. Effect game I played with romance was Inquisition. And I didn't mean to, but I ended up romancing the Paladin lady. Mass I just kind of let, I just kind of let the winds take me with that one. The Inquisitor with the short hair? Yes. Yeah, she was cool. She was, she had a cute little backstory because she loved romance novels. So she was always yes. had that tough exterior, but when you got to know her, she had all the... Yeah, yeah. It's just that I never, I usually don't go for the zealot types, but I I, I just liked hanging out with her. She was a cool character. Um, and then I've like made some decisions or some choices in the dialogue. And I was like, oh, oh, I guess this is happening. <laughs> I um I went after Golden Sleeves. Her story was adorable. It was so good. I forget her name. Mm, I know who you're talking about, but it's been so long. She, I, I I I wasn't even married yet. She I was like the Tataru of the game. I, maybe Chat knows her name, but she had such a cute Tataru story of the game. <laughs> Josephine, you had to duel her husband or her um betrothed because she was in an arranged marriage. So you like did a straight up duel with him. It was super yeah. cute. Yeah. I could play Inquisition again if I just mainline the story. There's too much side bloat in that game. It was fine. I really liked um it was button mashy, but the caster was very fun in that. It wasn't as tactical yeah. as I would have preferred, but had a good dash mechanic. I enjoyed Inquisition. It was fun. Fun game. Asahi continues. Looks oh, like I think a duty. Be duty. Yep, leaving. It looks like a duty. A leave party. Are we gonna sync up the duty? Yes. Oh jeez. Dino, thank you for the super chat before we get started here. Problem with Tally, have to be bro Shep to romance. Oh, because you can't oh, is be that true? Shep. Yeah. Oh, for Tally. I didn't know that. I didn't know. I didn't know there was any of those restrictions on Mass Effect. In old Mass Effect games, yes, but I don't. I didn't play through Dragon Age Inquisition or Andromeda multiple times to see other options. Because mm. Fem Shep is amazing. Jennifer Hale is an amazing voice actress, and I think. Performance-wise, she does better than Bro Chef, as as he's put here, uh, which I forget his name. He does a really good job. I really like the the Bro Shep, but I've only ever played Mass Effect as a dude. Jennifer Hale is just so good. I think much earlier someone asked if we always play dudes, and I've I've had plenty in MMOs. I've had plenty of female characters. That's because like in WoW, I have a lot of alts. Um, usually, my first character in anything I play is is, is uh, male. Our Wojo, thank you for the super chat. Mir Miranda equals Ivan Stravowski from Chuck. So I I don't know. What's Chuck? Chuck. I don't know what Ch I, it's, a it's a show. show? It used to be, yeah, it's a TV show. I remember trying to watch it in the early 2000s and not liking it. So I have I have no clue. I have no frame of reference for any character from Chuck. So I'm sorry, Our Wojo. But uh, yes, as Kyle makes fun of me for... Uh, I did romance Miranda in my Mass Effect playthrough. 
And I always will, man. I'll always be yes, here to make you fun will. of you. Yes, you will. Yes, she's freaking hot, man. What do you What do you want from me? What do you want? I'm a sucker for a tragic, uh, estranged uh, a sibling backstory. With a butt. With uh, yeah, yeah, I am a butt man. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? Yeah, you know, if I'm gonna be, it's, Katie would yell from the other room if she could hear me right now. Yeah. In fact, she might be walking in. We might just hit her with, with that. Uh, Imaron, thank you for the super chat. Favorite romance scene, Citadel DLC, when you watch a movie with Tally and she starts reenacting it with you. It was so adorable. That sounds very cute. Yeah. Oh, Tally has so many <clears throat> cute scenes when she's pat talking about her, her boyfriend and saying, like, how she's going to, how you going to meet her dad and all this sort of thing. Ah, uh, good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> I, I've, the saddest thing about Jack was you couldn't be her you couldn't you couldn't be her friend unless you romanced her. Like mm. I went down to that sub basement so many times and just we'd all Jack and I would always fight because she's like, What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? You're in love with Tally, what are you gonna do about it? I'm like, I'm just trying to be your friend, Jack. And she's like, Well, get out of here. I don't need friends. I think on my new playthrough I'm on track to romance Jack. I'd be interested I do to see like how it turns Jack out. quite a bit. Jack Jack's just hilarious i really like her character um but, you know yeah. nano touches on something big there big starfire energy i think i love fish out of water i love wharf i love uh characters of that type and yeah tally is very much the starfire who's, who's fish out of water in final fantasy um i guess it's alphano a lot of the time that's a good question. I don't think we have one of that caliber, sort of the wordplay type. Yeah, not wordplay, but he is frequently kind of caught out because um, he has a, a he's got a pretty rigid view of justice and how he would like the world, the way that, like the world to work. I think Gotsetsu's pretty close. Yeah, certainly when he was in Aorzia, Aorzia I would agree with Baggins Wolf there. <laughs> Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, we got a, we got a visitor. Or Orion J is true. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, no, I... Hmm. That's a tough question. Yeah, I don't know. We haven't had... A, I guess we haven't really had a proper, like prolonged fish out of water sequence well it's that that wharf and starfire and tally way of talking that i just find so amusing like i love when starfire is like yes i too wish to enjoy the coffee and I'm, I'm just like damn that's adorable or when wharf has this scene when he's drinking fruit juice and he's like what is this drink it is delicious and everyone's like uh fruit juice a children's drink this is a man's drink and it's just like <laughs> hell yeah wharf Ah, uh, he's great. It's a uh, the Thor one. When yeah, Thor. Thor is drinking coffee. Absolutely, Thor is very <laughs> much fish out of water. Oh, he has to go. Oh, he hasn't gone potty yet. Oh, okay. He's, he's all excited. Like, did I get peed on? That's happened before. No, I'm good. I'm well, shall good. we duty? No urine. Yeah, let's duty. Let's duty. Three, are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. T Titans Go is super cute. Like, it's a really fun show. They play with the never got, well. never got into that one. Never got into that one. Oh, we're in a boat. We're in a boat. Get back! I'm warning oh boy. You. Are you ready to sync up? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. I hope this isn't kiddo. Someone's in trouble. Interesting reaction. That, that seems sincere. Yeah, that did seem sincere. But I guess he is part of a counterfaction if the Garleans are getting weird. Oh, it is Kiddo. Yeah. Oh, Red Kojin. Oh, okay. This is getting layers. Yeah. Oh, and he doesn't are like the right? Kojin. Oh, shit. Hi. What do they want with you? Yuki. And you look too. I. He must be so confused. I, I don't know. We were returning from the Enclave when they came at us. Ninja Turtle says Siffy. <laughs> You're not wrong. It seems they won't go quietly. And neither will we. Interesting advancement. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> game says you will hate him, but you will also suddenly care a bit. <laughs> Your opinions on this matter. Perform the video game now. <laughs> Hmm, they don't seem to want to collapse. Okay. It is nothing. Defeat the Red Kojin. Who'd you go help first? Uh, I just kind of ran in. I guess I'm helping Alice. I didn't do it intentionally. Oh, okay. Choices are made. Choices are made. Although, I honestly, given my options, I would have gone for Alice first. She's, yeah. She is my favorite of everyone currently present. I went straight for you, Gary. Of course you did. Today, today's, today's stream has basically been just Kyle's love letter to Tally <laughs> slash Yugiri. It's a fine love letter. An opening. It did not collapse nicely, so I bet you'll beat me. Uh, we'll see. I'd be curious oh, to see if I do. I completely missed the uh, oh shoot, yeah, there's a over here thing. Yeah, there's a big old uh, pile in the back. I'm glad you said so then. Yeah. There's a lot of them coming in. Yeah. There's some casters too, so be on, be on the lookout for them. These things taking a beating. Yeah. Well, there was a collapse mechanic that I missed, and I wonder if you missed it too. Collapsing, I'm collapsing. I did it right this time. We'll just cut that part out if we use the scene in a video. Make me look good, Kyle. <laughs> or keep it in and we'll get lots of comments. I, I think I do a pretty good job making this look okay in our cuts. <laughs> I joke, of course, for the most part. I mostly joke. See, that's that the joy of changing me. class Watch. and job every expansion is no one expects you to get better too fast. <laughs> Oop. Oop. Oop what? I just messed up my combo. How dare you? I know. All right, I'm done. Did I win? You won. I won. I'm done. You beat it was that was a photo finish. That was a photo finish. That still only counts as one, Kyle. <sighs> that seems to be the last of them. I'll see you at them. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. You have nothing to fear, child. You are safe now. Thank you, sir. You saved us again. I've seen the boys, just because you save people you. sometimes. If you're ever passing by our village, look us up. You'll always be welcome. Mm. Thank goodness we arrived when we did. Indeed. But what could have prompted the Red Coden to stray so far from the Ruby Sea? Oh no, she's doing the hand to mouth thing like Alphen. tired by Yotsu. If so, the answer is simple. Desperation. Bereft of imperial employment, they seek other means to line their coin purses. Another sad legacy of the Empire's mismanagement. 
The Empire to which you have sworn allegiance. This music Must is you cheating. Must always be so pointed? If we, we are to bring like about Asahi with lasting music. change, we must look beyond narrow allegiances. You have every right to doubt me, but in time, I hope you will come to see that we share a common goal. You and yours have fought fiercely to change the Empire from without, but if we are to end the cycle of conflict, the Empire must change from within. Am I wrong? <laughs> so did he hire the Kojin there to attack and so he could be the hero? Was this a... You're muted. That sure seems like it. Yeah, this is a um, uh, syndrome. Syndrome situation. Mm. 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 I'm going with the Empire will never change. This guy can kiss my butt. Hmm. I am with you. Cool. Three, two, one, go. Never? I wonder, would you have said the same of Ishgard? Believe what you will, but I assure you, the Empire can change. You know, Asahi, it is worth pointing out that Ishgard changed mostly after we killed their horrible corrupt leader so did he just say kill the emperor and things will change go kill my emperor bro he's a great kind counterpoint of, you know, he's a great that would have been my that would have been my counterpoint yeah hey listen kyle you know if if one is to understand the mystery of the force that you must study all aspects not simply the dogmatic narrow view <laughs> of the jedi while we watch the water dance Simply the narrow dogmatic view. That was in the. Uh, that was in his office, by the way. Oh well. Oh yeah, yeah. You would know. Yeah. Yeah. That was. That was after the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise. Still a good book, man. I really like Darth Plagueis the book. I thought that was great. Haven't read it. Yeah, it's Never worth read it. it. It was a good Probably story. Probably should. I. I bet I would dig it. You would like it. I think you'd like it. I bet I would dig it. <clears throat> Alrighty, that savage says Christopher Clayton. It's it. They hated me because I told the truth. <laughs> <laughs> like to point out that Ishgard changed after we murdered their leader in cold blood. I guess it's not cold blood if they're, he's trying to also kill you. I mean, that'd be an interesting development if he's like, uh, "Hey, will you come murder the emperor for me?" But they just did that thing with the little girl, which is clearly like her yeah. looking. In, uh, seeing the Empire in a positive light. Right. But then, you know, that's, he had a little sister, so is this how he wants to treat Yotsuyu? What does he want with Yotsuyu? Like, it's a great, it's a great wrench they've thrown in the cogs here. However, nothing's really changed. Trust. Yeah, if he hired the yeah. Kojin to attack there so he could be a hero, then nothing's changed. The, the privileged favorite son, meanwhile, the, the tortured youngest is is this bargaining chip yeah which i just it doesn't sit right with me <laughs> that's not a tale the guardians would tell you <laughs> <laughs> well done david <laughs> is it possible to learn this power not from a warrior of light i love it all right asa he says Dear me, I had hoped to convey my views on our nation's shared hopes under more peaceable circumstances. If only these turtles I had hired to kill this child hadn't gotten in the way. Yet this regrettable little interlude did afford me a chance to see the famed hero of Eotia in action. And few Imperial soldiers can say that. At least, few who live to tell the tale. You flatter me with tales of my murder. I really like the, uh, <laughs> I love godly and democracy. <laughs> Daz, thank you for the super chat. Did we already get to these scared or did we miss these? Uh, we had a couple. We had okay. a couple. Yeah, da Daz had uh, sent in. Uh, this stream is definitely brought to you by the greatness of Tally and Yukiri. May the cute girls in purple bless us this day. Purple's my favorite color. And then Dino with Tally's fine. But have you seen Liara? 
I do like I'm, Liara. I'm jealous of people who romance Liara because she got worked into that story in some really cool ways. Yeah, I miss her the most in Mass Effect 2. I realize you get to get a run in with her, but I miss like questing with her. Yeah. She's just cool. When you like, go through everyone's personal files there in her ship and like I loved Garrus's playlist that he listens to while he shoots people. Oh, I've never done that. Oh yeah, no, there's a bunch that. of terminals around the uh, Shadow Broker's place. They're worth reading. Oh, uh, cool. Cool. I'm cl I'm reengaging Asahi. All right. Well, after that little ordeal, I believe it may be time for us to return to the Enclave. Alla says. Return, my lord. But what of Namai? You seem eager to observe the villagers going about their daily lives. Ooh, called out. To be frank, I still am. But I rather doubt the good people of Namai would take kindly to the sight of a man in imperial uniform with blood still dripping from his blade. Even in your company, my presence would only prove a distraction. Mm-hmm. Fret not, however. Thanks to the three of you, I have seen a great deal more than I otherwise would. And with any luck, Lord Hien will have finished considering my proposal by the time we return. Speak with Yugiri. Uh, out in the middle of nowhere. And so they flew. And our so heroes, they fly. Into the mist. As the sun has set once again. Because they took spent too much time talking about waifus in Mass Effect. <laughs> it's like reverse V rising in here. It's just always. No, wait, no. No, night does last longer in V rising. Night does last longer, but it feels like it's it always day like, yeah. when I want it to be night. It's like every time I'm back building at my castle, it's like, oh, this project took longer than I thought. And now I'm ready to go kill a boss and the sun is up. Damn it. I got back into that a bit <laughs> this weekend. Uh, mm. I'm, I'm a little sad how fastly it fell off for a lot of people. It's a really, really good game, but. Be rising? Yeah, I'm still loving it, man. It's just, it's, it's, it's my chill zone right now. Did you try the new server? I did not. I actually started that mountain castle I was talking about. Ooh, nice, nice. Well, if you're into that, I'll come over and, uh, Add to the project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do. Add to the pro. We'll make a, a big, big honking mountain retreat. All right. Mercantile Dock Skipper says. Oh, gee, Rick, feel free to travel in and out of the enclave. Ooh -wee. Do you seek passage? Wasn't for you. Yeah, I totally get that. It's a hey. MOBA survival game. It's very specific. Yeah, it, it's it very it's very specifically a bunch of shit I like. Yeah, it's it's combining two things, and if you don't like those two things, I don't think you'll have a good time. Yeah, it is it is the peanut butter and chocolate of two things I really enjoy: survival games and MOBA combat. I'm hoping Sons of the Forest is good. <clears throat> don't haven't heard of that. What is that? Uh, the Forest was like a survival game, but it had some decent horror elements. It kind of fell apart as it went. The story was kind of iffy, but. It was like it was fun. It was a fun little bit of survival. Mm. You hear me? Thank you again for agreeing to join me. I, if not for your aid, the Kojin may have overwhelmed us. Pray go on ahead. Lothian is expecting you. I'll remain without and keep watch over our guest. Well, we had best not keep him waiting. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, some ragamuffin. I think it's called Sons of the Forest, is the sequel there. <clears throat> Let me know when you're ready to engage Hien, because something tells me it's going to be a cutscene. Yeah, should we click past this together, or will it... I already went in, and I'm okay. looking at Hien. He's got a little questy thingy over his Oh, head. okay, so you entered. I gotcha, I gotcha. I am come, Kyle. That's how they saying. <laughs> Judging by the sparkle in Alphano's eyes, their discussion was riveting. How sorry I am to have missed it. Love it. Okay, I'm ready. You're ready? Yep. Uh, okay, let me start recording. I'm right clicking on Hien in three, two, one, go. Hey, it Called worked. It. It's almost like I played a decent amount of Final Fantasy XIV at this point. Uh, oh, no. it's not yeah, voice reading. Welcome back, my friend. Yuguri tells me that you accompanied her and Asahi on a tour of Zansha. 
I had hoped you might take the opportunity to recover from the oop. Uh, your exertions from your in exertions. Sakazuki. But I gather your time was well spent. Until the ambassadors affords Yugiri a chance to make a full report, however, I must rely on you to supply the details. So please, tell me how it unfolded. The Red Cogent here? Have there been any other such incidents since the liberation? Not that I'm aware of. Sus! They have... But if they are planning some new venture here in Zanshai, or Yanshai, we will need to increase patrols. In any event, I am indebted to you to fighting them off. But tell me, and don't be modest, was... Asahi truly the first to leap to the youngster's aid? He was. I was quick to doubt him when we first met, but his desire to save them seemed quite genuine. It's possible he truly believes what he's saying. In the time that I've known you, you have always been an excellent judge of character. What do you make of the ambassador? I still don't think he can be trusted. Yeah, agreed. Continuing on. I think he's this privileged little bastard. Then the question of what his true intentions may be, may be, maybe remains? Oh, maybe remains. Yeah, okay. The may and the B weren't connected. I got confused. Uh, regardless of his aim, I am resigned to play his game. For now, at least. Well... For swearing summons should be simple enough, considering you never dabbled in the first place, which just leaves the somewhat thornier question of how to police the Red Kojin. It was with that very question in mind that I sought out Alphano's counsel. Thanks to his knowledge of the icons and the rituals used to invoke them, I believe we've identified a workable so solution. As you will recall, Susano was summoned forth using the power of relics locked away in the Kojin's treasure vault on the Isle of Zeki. Though said relics remain there to this day, it is all but certain that the act of summoning exhausted the stores of ether, making subsequent summonings impossible. Assuming that is the case, preventing the Primal's return rests on denying the Red Kojin the means to amass new stores of ether, either via the acquisition of crystals or the relics they are wont to collect. For this, I plan to enlist the aid of our friends, the Blue Cochin. Since Doma's liberation, we have forged closer bonds with Bunchin and his people. And with their support, I am quite confident we can keep the Red from obtaining what they require to call upon this Susano. But I want Susano to come back. I know, must, must we? Like, we had to fight Titan twice. I'm, I'm fine. And what of the prisoners? They will be exchanged as agreed. And I will give full credit to Asahi for the success of the transaction. If there is aught we can do to help the populares garner favor, I mean to see it done. But first, I have some unfinished business to attend to. Will you all come with me? Yes, of course. But what manner of business? A past mistake I wish to see put right. One which has weighed heavily on my mind. I'm gonna apologize for trying to stab. No, no, okay. I have questions. Yeah, I'm not sure where we're going. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I thought we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going exactly where I thought we were. Sitting there enjoying your snacks. I had her brought here in secret while the three of you kept our guest company. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Little, uh, yeah, the world has not been kind to you, it is true. But that does not excuse your sins. You should be at the bottom of the river. Yet here you are, the living, breathing proof of my failure. 
a failure for which I would now make amends. What? What did I do? I don't remember. Was it really so terrible? Tell me, please! What did I do? You speak of sins, my lord. But at whose feet do those sins lie? With the soldiers who committed the crimes, or those who commanded them to do so? With both, I would say. For all have a conscience, and all must choose. But with no memory of who she is, or what she has done, what sin remains to be cleansed? You ask that I show mercy? I ask why the heavens saw fit to deny me my rest. <laughs> why Yotsuyu was spared not only death, but the bitter memories of her life. And this is why Gosetsu is one of the best characters. Good question, yeah. Saying. You truly think it the will of the Kami? Nice sword shake there. That was good. If so, her life is not mine to take. It is yours to safeguard. Come the hour of the exchange. If her memories have not returned, she may remain here in Doma to live out her days as Tsuyu. But oh, if they do, the Garleans shall have their Viceroy. Though the people will protest, they will come to accept my decision when they have been reunited with their loved ones. Thank you, my lord. I want Gosetsu to train her now to be then, a samurai. I believe we have kept our guests waiting long enough. That's honestly where I thought things were going there on the island. I didn't think they'd get off that path. I hadn't considered that she, like, had amnesia, so I just yeah. assumed they were going to have an odd couple adventure. Did Gorsetsu not seem strange to you? He saw the bullet in him, I think. His sympathy for your Tsuyu part, I mean. Wait, what? I know his powers of endurance only too well, but after all he has suffered, even he should not be on his feet. Wait a minute. He puts on a brave face for our sakes, but it would not surprise me if he lacked the strength to raise his blade. Is she a primal? <laughs> Though I suppose if he and Yotsu what? are to enjoy a life of peace and quiet, he will have little use for it. It falls to us to shape where, that future. Where are you getting this? He's talking about Gosetsu right now. Nah, I'll, 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 I'll go into it in a minute. On the battlefield. I have absolutely no idea the way your brain works sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's not the craziest idea. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, she... She's like, so good. Setsu's like holding the ceiling and like they're going in the water, and she's like, oh crap, everything's miserable. I hate everything. I hate everybody so much. And like she ice hearts onto herself a primal and then enthralls Gotsetsu. And now Gotsetsu might be a dead body, but I doubt that. Might be enthralled though by. She could, I mean, she like, she could enthrall oh, him. Oh, you were, okay, so you're, you're, you're drinking Snake Lady Kool Aid. I don't think, I, I, I think the game could do crazier things. Listen, listen, Kyle, I realize you were extremely right thinking that the snake people was an important thing to bookmark. I was, and you were right. I was. You were vindicated. You were absolutely vindicated, but not everything comes back to the snake ladies. But why did, why did he envy like, that was weird of good sets. <clears throat> and like, he's, you know, he's kind of, kind of into it. That's a good, that's a good point is the, there were no crystals available. Um, he's an honorable man that understands that, like, why punish this person who doesn't understand why they're being punished? The, like, Yatsuyu as a, as that person, as that force is for all intents and purposes dead. I mean, 
Iceheart didn't have crystals. She used crystals to become powerful enough to fight Ravana, but she didn't need crystals to transform there in the air to fight the Garleans, which you could also say she didn't do the best job fighting. She kind of got blown up and she was more of a distraction. No, she took down the ship though, I, didn't she? I think she actually did fight pretty well. I don't remember. She did not take down the ship. She delayed in time for She's... us to make landfall. Yeah, so she may have not even been that powerful if she didn't have any crystals with her there riding on... She had the echo though. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, we haven't we haven't we haven't gotten that far then yet. So so I'll call off that investigation there. You can do you can do it with crystals. You can do well though. We, we've also found out that you can do it with life force. But why would she be a primal that just looks like her just yeah. walking around snacking? Yeah. So so yeah. We'll, we'll tread carefully, you know, pursuing that line of thought. But either way, I think it's interesting. I mean, obviously, Yotsuyu is a ticking time bomb of something, and. I just like primal, so that's where my apparently where my mind goes, and he end being like, anyone think it's kind of weird that like Gotsetsu's into this? Which is kind of weird because I feel like it is kind of in Gotsetsu's character, right? Like I was saying, he lost Hien as a son in a sense. Hien's now all grown up and out in the world, so Gotsetsu grabbed on to Tsuyu to kind of be his his daughter. I I, I see your line of logic now. I don't agree with it, but I see your line of logic. <laughs> besides why everything of the super chat, she used her crystal of light. I don't know what that means. I don't either. I feel like that's something we'll get into in the future. Because we still don't know, or at least I don't know how the Heavens Ward did it without a bunch of crystals around. So we, we Those don't... are the things we were collecting in A Realm Reborn, right? Oh, right. And then we like were showing them off to the Warrior of Darkness. I don't remember Isel having her own, but I definitely trust our chat room to remember that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember that. Okay. Boys, you have six of them. <laughs> right, but then we... That's something I know, I'm, Kyle, are we the baddies? I'm, I'm a it little returns. confused on that because then, like, the baby dragon took them away from us for a time and then we slowly unlocked them, so... Like, severed our connection to them. Yeah, and then over Heaven's Word, we... That, that is... All that is like, I'm going to replay A Realm Reborn and Heaven's Word again with knowledge I future me has. Because a lot of that was like, what the hell is going on? Why did the dragon take away my crystals? Is Hydaelyn okay? But now it's okay because uh, she took my, my uh, Minfilia? Well, anyway. What's going uh, the, on in this family? This is much more... Uh, listen, Yatsuyu is not Hien's failure. Hien didn't kill Yatsuyu. Yatsuyu did. That's true. People in the chat room who have finished a certain show will know the reference I'm making. All right. Engage the Hien. Engage the Hien. With Yotsuyu safely in Gotsetsu's care, all that remains is to answer a size proposal. I realize other matters demand your attention, but I would ask that you stay a while longer to see this business through. Thank you, but Super Chat, Super Side Swiper, for furthering, continuing the confirmations, the many confirmations of Crystal of Light. Having a Crystal of Light. I just don't even remember what a Crystal of Light was. No, I thought we took them from Primals, but... Yeah. That was more my 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 forgetfulness. And we were, like, like feeding them to Hydaelyn or something, but there, there's, there's much I don't understand. My apologies. Our deliberations took longer than expected. I'm just going. Should I stop? Oh, I stopped. Are you unexpected? Uh, no, now I'm on Yancha. Okay. Think nothing of it. The time afforded me the opportunity to go on a rather rousing excursion through Yancha. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. You have reached a decision then? We are willing to cooperate with you in combating the Icon threat and also in the exchange of prisoners. Assuming you accept our conditions, of course. As you know, your sister is in our care. Due to certain complications, however, we are hesitant to release her into your custody. Mm-hmm. Complications? She was inside Doma Castle when it collapsed. 
Though she survived, she remembers nothing of her past life, not even her name. To clarify, she is in our care not as a prisoner, but as a vulnerable citizen of Doma. Are you saying you refuse to release her? Not at all, if her memory returns before the appointed hour. And if not, what exactly? You will accommodate her here in Dorma? Well, I sincerely doubt she will be of any great strategic value to the Empire. She spends her days daydreaming of <laughs> Dango. Dango. How dreadful. <laughs> that was a good line read. Very well. In light of our recent misstep in Sakazuki, it seems only fair that I show you the same understanding you have shown us. Though I do have one small request. Regardless of Yotsuyu's value to the Empire, she is yet my sister. Before I leave, might you permit me to speak with her Boy, in that private? that seems like a bad idea. Hmm. Of course. Oh, he did Perhaps you could even bring her a plate of dango. She would be most pleased. This is gonna blow up in our face. I hope we get to see it. Yugiri will see you to her chambers. Are we going to be left in the dark for future unknowns? Because we're coming up on the end of this patch here. So we would have, if they do nothing here, you'd have to wait three months to see what this conversation became of. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, we're going right back. Oh, nope. We're see? We're, we're reading. <clears throat> Forgive me, my lord, but. Has he not been gone over long? Perhaps I should. Calm yourself, Kusetsu. I understand your concern, but we have to wait. He deserves that much. I'm sorry to have kept you all waiting. Thank you for your understanding. Long did I dream of this reunion, but Never did I imagine it would be so joyless. Part of me hoped your stories of her condition were just that. But alas, it is as you say. Suyu, do you remember anything of this man? Anything at all? I know. I am a stranger to her. That much was clear from a single look. I leave her in her care. Interesting. As you wish. I ain't buying any of this. No, no, he got the information he needs and he's getting out of there. Now, if you will excuse me, my superiors are long overdue a report. They will be elated to hear the agreement. Of that, I have no doubt. As for the exchange itself, once I have obtained the relevant permissions, I will arrange for your people to be relieved of the various duties and sent here to Yansha. There will, uh, this will have take time, of course. Of course. You may rest assured your soldiers will be well cared for until your return. We will also begin taking steps to better counter the threat of the Kojin and their icon. Before you take your leave, there is one other matter. I am informed it was you who took the lead in rescuing two young domans from a band of Kojin sellswords. I have not yet had time to thank you properly. Please, there is no need to thank me. I only did what anyone would do under the circumstances. Fortunately, I was in good company at the time who let a cat in this room. I don't know if those meows are coming across. <laughs> 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 the blight of the Red Kojin is of the Empire's making. Were it not for our transgressions, those children would not have needed saving. The people of Doma have suffered enough, my lord, and I promise to do all in my power to spare them further pain, be it at the hands of the Kojin or indeed the Empire. 
I pray the Emperor will see things as you do. There may yet be hope for us all. Until we meet again. It's the glasses, but that guy has mad flip out butler energy. Hmm. Gotsetsu, as before, I leave your Tsuyu to you. Exit stage left. I guess that would be stage right, actually. I invite the rest of you to join me outside. Let's treat Asahi to a proper farewell. Is it a trigger when I exit, or do I have to click to someone? I bet I have to click on someone. The Dome and Enclave. Hey, I was right. You outside? I am outside. I am further evolving my fan theory in my head. But we will continue. The ambassador's airship awaits at Castrum Filminus. Let us be off. <clears throat> Cinematic. I wish you a safe journey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Also, think of the super chats. We'll uh, read them after this. Three. Two, one, go. This has been a most enjoyable visit. I look forward to our next meeting. Maxima, would you take the others and see that all is ready for our departure? I am just the fry squinting gif this whole, <laughs> this whole chapter. And they didn't have helmets on either, you know? Gave them a face. Mm -hmm. I simply cannot leave without first giving thanks to the Warrior of Light for accompanying me through Yansha. Ooh, okay, yeah, do it. Tell me something secret. Oh. Mark me. Savior of the savages, there will be a reckoning. Little one, you must be this tall to, to step to the Warrior of Light. Traitor. Wait, is that the same guy? Ignorant savages! Killing us will avail you naught! For every Imperial you cut down, a thousand more will come! Abandon this foolish endeavor and surrender! You may yet serve our righteous cause. How dare you speak of righteousness? You who forsook kith and kin to serve conquerors! Be glad I grant you this mercy. Whoa. Xenos Blast? I'm trying to place when this took place. <sighs> what in the... Yeah, you called it. Yeah. Reinforcement. 
No, just one. Cut him down. Clearly, you don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not seen the box cover art? Loot detected. Their ability was low. <laughs> The sword, I like it. Another. This one is promising. Who remains to offer us resistance? A host of rebels led by Lord Cayenne hold the enclave across the river. Lord Kyan. The king of the, the... The former king of Dorma, sir. They say he is one of the greatest swordsmen alive. <laughs> is that what they say? Yeah. Do they now? <laughs> Guaranteed to get his interest. Who was that? <laughs> Surely you jest. That was Xenos Ye Galvas, Legatus of the Twelfth, the Crown Bloody Prince. I heard he was strong, but that... that was frightening. I never want to be shamed for forgetting a character again. He didn't even know who Xenos was. <laughs> that was... Lord Xenos. Hmm. An optophic memory, but interesting. Oh, you're like coming out of you're like, oh, Everything you're still mad. Everything you are, your power, even your face, it vexes me. Go on. Lash out like the beast you are at an emissary and jeopardize the newfound peace between Dorma and the Empire. My lord was destined to lead us unto a glorious new age. Your light is nothing to his radiance. Interesting. I will cherish this moment. Lock it away within my heart. Until the day we he's just a big old fanboy. Yeah, but he was there when the soldiers were talking about how Xenos is alive. And he used was and a present tense in the same sentence. Wait, he was? He was there? Yeah, he was the glove. I think he was the golden and white glove we saw back when the two soldiers were saying, like, no, Xenos is alive, didn't you hear? There's the rumors and the domans. They're spreading mm. lies. And we don't know if that was like, you know. Garlean propaganda oh. getting to the men, or mm. but he seems the glove. The glove does fit. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad they let us know so we didn't have to go a whole patch. Well, you know, for the people of the past, I'm glad they didn't have to go three months until they got to see Asai for who he was, but interesting development. Yeah. Yeah, well, before we wrap this up, got some 
super chats to thank. Uh, Star Johnson, thank you for the super chats. Uh, this is back when we were trying to remember what the hell the crystals were. <laughs> <laughs> so this is why I really recommend a second MSQ playthrough. Uh, super Size Wiper super chatted a crystal of light as a gift from Heidelin to her chosen. We were entrusted with six while most are entrusted with one. So when we killed primals and we unlocked a crystal on the grid there, was that us taking a... Because we picked up the crystal off the ground, right? So the crystals were in the primals. It's also very interesting because, you know, you fire up a Realm Reborn for the first time. You're, you're full of reservations. You hear, oh man, you know, in 200 hours, you might have a really good time with this. And you're like, okay. <laughs> and then it starts being like, yeah, feel, think. And you're just like, oh, what is this? What's this game going on about? This is insane. And then it puts you in the middle of your faction kind of area. And it's just like, it's a lot of information really fast. And you don't respect it yet. Yeah. Yeah. The, and the, like, I remember getting the crystals. I don't remember them ever it, like blatantly explaining them. Um, and if they did, I didn't retain it. So, yeah, I know it wasn't just from primals. No, that, that, that not always kind of bothered me. I was like, because at first it seemed like they were from primals. And then it kind of seemed like we were just getting them completely at random. Yeah, and then we unlocked them at random parts, seemingly in Heaven's Word again. Like when we talked to Bahamut's daughter there, I think that unlocked the last one, the last one. And we didn't like kill anybody for that. So it's not like a killing take the power kind of thing. Wasn't that us like getting our, our getting the connection back to the crystals we already had? Because that was after Midgard Summer had like shut us off from that. That's right. He talked to Tiamat and he was like, hey, okay, I verify you're now a 100% cool guy. <laughs> Allow me to. You are worthy. Yeah. Yeah, Midgard Summer literally gatekept us, Kyle. Ugh. Oh. Gatekeeper. <laughs> Unknown character. Thank you for the super chat. Asai sure has a punchable face personality. Oh, very much so. Well, he's talking about both sides of his mouth, you know, that old, that old shtick. It's a very frustrating and he plays the game really well. He's evil Alphano in that way. Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's just, uh, slicked back hair away from being a real piece of shit. Yeah. That's a real, that's a, uh, I think you should leave reference if anyone's a fan. <laughs> oh shit. I clicked on it. I did not mean to click on him, that's but okay. I clicked we, on we, we talk to him. Here we go. I think this is another voice acted, so be prepared to stop your auto advance. You I am at said. Oh, shoot. I accidentally advanced. For God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I'm telling them what happened, though. I'm glad we're not keeping this a secret just for dramatic effect. Of all the memories to witness, the writing's good enough. The characters don't need to make stupid decisions for the sake of the plot. Good point, man. Well said. I am at witness. I am ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. I had my doubts about him, but I would never have really, guessed he really, was a disciple really. of Xenos. Oh, disciple of Xenos. Oh, I didn't, my Lord. I didn't pick that up. Calm yourself, you giddy. I set no store by him or his enlightened brethren. Well done, Hugh. But if by treating with them there is even the faintest hope we might secure the return of our conscripted brothers and sisters, I must play this game. After the way I risked their lives in the rebellion, I owe them that much. My lord, you bear no blame for their fate. If not blame, then responsibility. They were prisoners, and still I chose to fight, knowing they could be executed yeah, you could have that in the retaliation. There, but now we have a chance to bring them home. If it means bargaining with a monster, so be it. My lord. Besides, I think he likes me, <laughs> which is more than some can say. <laughs> Pian is a master ball buster. He's so good. Yeah. I love that his response was, don't you worry, I didn't like him. Everyone calm down. Alice says, it makes no sense. Why would he keep 
Why would he bother keeping up the pretense for so long only to drop it right before the very end? Perhaps he no longer thought it necessary, having secured Doma's cooperation in the prisoner exchange. If he truly is a disciple of Zeno's, his possible emotions simply got the better of him. Remaining calm around the man who slew his lord will have taken its toll. Whatever the explanation, now is not the time for hasty reprisals. We shall proceed as planned. The Red Cogent must be placed under surveillance, and the Garlean prisoners made ready for the exchange. But you need not concern yourself with the details. Leave the affairs of Doma to us. When the hour... Oh, the company actions. <laughs> when the hour... So many company actions. When the hour of exchange draws near, we will call for you. It looks like your company is quite active. May I join? <laughs> I should certainly hope so. Whatever the Empire's true intent, we would be on hand to play our part, either to defend Doma or to help usher in a lasting peace. I had thought we might use this time to return, return to Eotia, but given the vol uh, volatility of the situation may happen, it would be best if we remain in Kugani. Agreed. Between Yotsuyu's amnesia and Asahi's dubious agenda, I say we have ample reason to remain in the neighborhood. If anything should happen, anything at all, you must send for us at once. Oh, I will. On that, you have my word. Charting a path through this sea of troubles promises to be difficult enough. I am not so proud as to attempt the feat alone. To Kugani, then. Tataru and the others must know of what transpired here. Also, I now know how expensive that sword was. <laughs> I must apologize. Apology must happen. Super Sideswiper, thanks for joining our membership. Yeah, Appreciate for joining the support. Us. Welcome to the Gearbox. Enjoy your perks. And um, to Kugana, you can... You, I'll, I'll put the bill. 337 coming your way. We're already on this continent. It's oh, wait, not wait, as expensive as it usually is. Well, oh, shoot, we're dutied. We're not, we're not in a party. We're still, oh, we've been rolling in solo Ferguson. since... Uh, Kyle since Ferguson just rolling ahead like he has been all day. Doesn't even try and pause the cinematics and now he doesn't even group up mate. to give me a free port to Kugani. And whoops. Do you see how he ditches me? Excuse me. I did not mean to perform mm -hmm. hostile action. Of course, of course. Making me pay my way back to go see Hancock of all people. <laughs> the greatest injustice. I demand satisfaction. Ah, my favorite person in Kugani. How are you, my Hancock, my good boy? Talking to Hancock. My, it seems you're all in quite the predicament. Well, should we receive any urgent missives from Doma, rest assured you will be the first to know of it. Where was it? Huh? Hey, hey, okay. Yes, of course. We're discussing an idea. We're discussing ideas of replenishing our coffers, but I suppose that I can all wait if any urgent news should come through the office. Ahem, uh, about that. I wish to apologize, Tataru. It was reckless of me to make such a purchase without first consulting you. You may be certain, however, that I mean to reimburse the Scions, even if it means drawing upon my personal funds. That's very thoughtful of you, but I'm sure it won't come to that. I'm glad that we're hearing their Venmo conversation. If Soropan's business proposal is as promising as it sounds, Val should have no difficulty wiping the red from our ledgers. <laughs> Forgive me, Tunin Val. It would seem I have unwittingly heaped my financial troubles upon you both. I swear I will pay you back. Though I fear I will struggle to cobble together anything of monetary value. Knowledge I can gather in abundance. To start, I plan to investigate the divisions forming within the Empire. Mayhap Riol and his associates have heard something on the subject. 
the music suddenly stops. Regardless, the more we know about the politics of Gallimald, the better our chances of predicting the Imperial's next move, which might yield you an advantage on the day of the prisoner exchange. Knowing what we do of Asahi's apparent resentment towards you, I cannot say that he hopes uh, what he hopes to gain from it. But if there is even the faintest chance that a lasting peace can be forged between Dome and the Empire, what, poor, uh, what choice do we have but to try? Lord Hien has th th had the right of it. Asahi may very well be a monster, but we must play his game for now. Hmm. Hancock doesn't seem the thumbs up kind of guy. No, he he doesn't. Maybe he was trying to be cool. He was like trying to. Oh, remind me, am I fending? You are. I think you're fending. Am I? I think I'm fending. I'm striking, if I recall correctly. I believe I am fending. Fending, yes. Thank you. Ooh. Her plan B was to sell Alphanos as Pyro. <laughs> what do we have here? Oh, do we have an epilogue? Yep, yep. Ah, I know this room. This is a room without voices. Arranging the prisoner exchange proved easier than I thought. Yes, my lord will be most pleased. Everything is going according to plan. My lord Xenos? Next time on Final Fan. Oh, never mind. Ooh, looking in a mirror. Creepy. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> whose echo is this? Well, I, it's her memory. We're not echoing. We're Can looking. You at... truly remember nothing. Oh. Nothing. At Are all. you ready? Yes, we get to see this conversation. Sweet. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Were we friends? Yes, we were good friends, you and I. In fact. I've brought you a gift. A gift that will restore your memories uh -huh. and turn you into a psycho killer. Oh, don't be like a doll or something weird like that. It's the mirror that oh, she was okay. just looking into. I pray that one day soon, as you gaze into that mirror, you will remember the woman staring back at you. Told you this guy was a piece of shit. Mm. <laughs> Untrustworthy. Hmm. It's so pretty. You want a winter soldier? Because this is how you get a winter soldier. Uh, is that a crystal on the back? You? Who are you? You got a moon there. Oh, there's a moon on the mirror. Hmm. Meanwhile, in the Imperial capital. Which, if the Emperor is involved, will involve no voice acting. Oh, where are we? Where are we, indeed? It's a big boy. Xenos? A new evil scientist. How are you feeling, my lord? My yeah. lord? Yeah. My lord? Who's the lord? That... Hey, there we go! Fine, now leave That's me. That's Xenos! Yep. Interesting. What? The butts. <laughs> I like the coat over his medical wear. Interesting. I have questions. Mm. And that was, that was the end of 4.2, yes? Uh, let me see the name. Yeah. Yeah, Gotsetsu and... That's a Tsuyu. wonderful place to stop. 4.3. So we gotta stop there for today. Dude, that's okay. Interesting. So that looked, that looked like he just, he got saved medically. Like he, but... 
they, no, they said they made a grave for him and that people were trying to dig him up. So maybe he was dead for a time and got revived. I, I'm still thinking back to the him being pissed at the Assian. Yeah. The Emperor. Yeah, no, I still like that fan theory. I don't know. With Yotsuyu, I'm expecting... So my new theory is that she had a childhood best friend. This is one I would just love. It's a great horror trope that you have a childhood best mm. friend that becomes real and imaginary friend and that she somehow got taken over by that in her moment of... and which is how she perhaps tempered Gotsetsu. But also, I mean, Gotsetsu could just be dadding. Like, he yeah. needs a reason to live, so... That is true. Well, that in, is true. Don't, yeah, we don't want, we do not want answers to this yep, day, Kyle. Yep. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, don't want answers to this at all, but um, just, just thinking out loud and you can enjoy us being probably wrong. Yeah, interesting though. Hmm. Now wait three months. Okay, yeah, yeah right? we'll see you yeah, all in wait, three months. Right? That would suck. Kyle, we're going to do this hardcore, okay? We're not allowed to click on the next quest for three months. <laughs> we have to freaking role play time passage. No, we're keeping it to the patches, so we're, we're doing our best with that. But this does mean we're a little ahead of schedule because this was actually a shorter uh, patch bit. So Was it shorter or are we better about staying on topic we, today? We, uh, you know, we farted off a decent amount. I think, we, I think it was just a shorter bit of patch, too. And there was no dungeon involved or trial or anything like that in this one. So next week, we'll get up to uh, 4.3. I think I think that's quite all right. Sweet. And then Thursday will be Omega Sigma Scape. And uh, if there's bonus time, possibly we'll head up Hell's Lid or the Fractal Continuum. I'll fractal your continuum. You can. I think it's going to be great. <laughs> I look forward to it. I love our Thursday streams. Awesome. I love all our streams. And there may be a Wednesday stream. We will talk about it and uh, it'll be a day of yeah. announcement. Yeah, the, the schedule will literally go up uh, like an hour before we get in there. So enjoy yeah. our video. If you're, not in our, if you're not in our Discord already, you should definitely join it because we do make scheduling announcements in there. Enjoy our video Wednesday, and we will see you all possibly Wednesday. After you finish the video, yeah. you can come on over here and check out what we're up to. GG, y'all. Thanks for hanging today. Yeah, have a good one. Thank you for all the support.